Uh, so, okay. Um, we're gonna be muted, okay? We're gonna be muted. I'm gonna be muted. I'm in a Discord for OOC Academy, but I thought I'd go live. Um, you're gonna have music and this game and, and my face. Wow. Um, it's technically is GTRP, technically speaking. I will be here. Talk amongst yourselves. Don't be silly. Okay.
Yo, what up, nerds? What's the point of saying I'm sorry now? I need Academy, sir. What? I need Bike Academy. How do I? So can I just like get on the bike? Can I just like? What are you saying? Speak up. Uh, can I just get on the? Can you? What? Why would you be part of Academy? Oh no! I wanted to be. I, I wanted to learn how to use the bike. To be honest. Do the, like bike? the bike? Yeah. What the fuck does that mean? The, the PD bike, the motorcycle. What's that got to do with Academy, brother? I'm teaching cadets. You're a fucking PPO. I, no, I'm. I'm an officer. I got promoted. Uh, hey. You're I, a full officer. Yeah. Well, okay, there's something about you that tells me you're not. What? What is it? Oh, right, the marking thing. Yeah, I don't have, I don't know what to do. I, well, I, you better go figure it out before I dap you for having a missed oh, uniform. What? I can get dabs now? Yes. Thank you, sir. You could have been dapped before. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, have I? Yes. Did I? No. Oh, I'm a good Well, so you give me a reason to, so how about you go no. to the changing room? Put a fucking stripe on your arm. I will try to do that. I never say I, I never said I didn't. I just said I need help. <laughs> yeah, he was excited now. He was like, sweet, I can get a job. Hey, what's going on, big guy? Uh, hey, don't brother. How's the day treating you? Missed what? You really missed it. Oh, what? Forty minutes ago, there was a gigantic Cypress shootout. Again, and that's three remember, times. Uh, that's yours, three yours, times. Yours. Every time I'm fucking doing something. Every time yeah. I'm dealing with a fucking interrogation. Every time I'm yeah. stuck in fucking academy, those cunts pop off, and I can't go down there and shoot them and raid their asses, Crane. What? What happened? You know, like Boondock Saints? Yes. There was a fire there... fight. <laughs> what? Did someone... Yeah, it was crazy. It was like, it was like 35 shots fired calls. What? But there wasn't enough people on duty. And then um, apparently also, I'm getting changed to help with Academy. I just told them I'm going 10-7 off radio. Uh, but we were just dealing with a crazy kidnapping scene too. It's just crazy out there. <sighs> Fear back. I did it. Congratulations. Thank you. Don't shoot me, please. Um, okay. You're a full officer now. We're come, uh -huh. you're, you're allowed to ride a bike. You're allowed to um, pretty much use an air vehicle. Like, if you would like training on how to use that, I would reach out to Kit Archer. Kit Archer. Okay. Yeah. Um, she's very much trying to lead that, and she's very good on the bike, so I'd reach out to her, okay? All right. Is Kit... 40 minutes ago. Kit Archer. Oh. You know, shift two. You work with her. Oh, yeah. yeah. Denzel okay. accused yes, of illegal we'll search. Do. She ain't around right now. All right. Well, I'm going to go on a test drive. Bro. <laughs> it's been two days. It's been two days. Come on, you mother. 
God. Same. Yes. Same. Different day. Viv kidnapped. The song stuck in my head, by the way. Did they get no 95s from a mass shootout? Bashira Petros. Yeah, these people in the old pictures look like this. Hi! Yeah. Oh, yeah. You want my food? Mm. Maybe we should all just go together as oh, a force later on. Oh, bring your take all the cadets? Oh my god, that's yeah. amazing. Yes. And then, mm. you know, what if one comes in to rob the place and we're just standing there? Hello. Oh, yeah. Hey. Archer! Come here. <sighs> Hey, hell, hey, hey. hey, all right, all right. Oh. Yo, what up, baby girl? <laughs> Hi. You okay? Uh, let's I see. I got, I, I got threatened. I got the shit beat out of me. I've what gotten held up twice now mm -hmm. and kidnapped. What? I'm I'm right day. What? Why have you been? What? What? What the fuck? What happened? Over a toe clamp. Oh, not, Over a fucking not, toe not clamp. On the, not on the ride along. Oh, not on the ride. Okay. Although I she thought... did almost get kidnapped by the BBMC on the ride along. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because they were still in the cop car that I was sitting in. Oh, thank you, Opal. Someone came at you over a tow clamp. Well, stop, stop. Well, no, I got the shit beat out of me over a tow clamp because I told Zaki to thank stop you. puffing his chest out in front of PD when he didn't have a weapon. So, um, him and somebody else uh, decided to beat the shit out of me and explode my tow truck outside of Senior Buns. And then as we were walking out, uh, me and Viv. Got held up by one of the other guys that was beating the shit out of me. Oh, and it's then by the looks of it, Zakit went to jail. Yeah, well, he threatened me while he was in the lineup. So, you know, hence why I'm here. Okay. Just in case. Ah, oh, probably the safest place for it. I'm glad you're okay, darling. Yeah. I asked Viv if I Did Zakit get shot? Today. I hope he did. Sorry, that's rude. Um, Archer, uh, Dixie's looking for you. Who? Mason Dixie. Who? The guy that just said he's getting on motor. I told him. I told him to uh, talk to you about getting some tips before he rode fucking motor. Good red garage. Is that the one with scoliosis? Well, what did that yes. chase start off of? Okay. Yeah, I told him to approach you and see if he can get some tips off him. Because he was like, I want to learn how to ride the bike. And I was like, okay. We talked to Archer. He'll teach you. Okay. Well, um, if, I touch, if I can you know, touch base with him, I will. But we're kind of dealing with some stuff. Yeah, I heard. But everyone their fucking mothers got shot out in Little Ireland, and I was in. I, don't know. I hate it here. Yeah. You guys have academy. Yep. See. Yeah. Okay. Bit of a small class because of a few names that um, I'm gonna be training on Saturday by myself. So. Oh well, womp womp. Who's, who's in the academy? Um, um, you can meet them all in a second. It's yeah. a lot of girls, actually, which is kind of crazy because it was all guys last time. Is it? Actually, now that you mention it, it actually is. I mean, there's some guys, but it's like, I think, mean, is it just Frank? Hey, or? I don't see gender. Okay, okay. I just see cops, you know? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Ugh. You got beat up over a toe clamp? Yep. I mean... There's a key ran up to me, and I kid you not, goes, give it back! Like that. <laughs> and I was like, no. And then he tried to threaten me, and I was like, motherfucker, shut the fuck up. I was like, you're gonna, you're literally gonna threaten me in front of cops? Like, yeah, when, when you're not around the cops. I was like, okay, big man. Okay. Why do I have a feeling he's gonna mistake Sooty for you and do something? 
I usually get the one that's or I'm usually the one that gets um misidentified. I have a new phone number by the way cuz my phone got taken. Oh no. Oh. Okay. I'm having a day. I see it. I'm going to put Oshiro with oh. two blue hearts now. Oh. Alright, uh, all right. come on, Oshira. Alright, love, love you, bye. Keep her safe, Archer. Or I'll dap you. Antisocial, I love your mind. What are you fucking wearing? It's so when I dress up as a, cr a crim during FTO, like I look like, you know what I mean? Let me get you. Oh, most of them. Oh, Jesus. Are most of them here? Same opportunities. Are you saying yeah. that because I'm a. <laughs> <clears throat> because I got gray hair or what? Yeah, it's the gray hair. I was gray by the time I was 12. Not old. Thank you. What color was it before that? Um, from baby pictures, it was brown. Oh, okay. It looked kind of cute, like, going, you know, from brown to gray, but then it just got pink. Is this the Academy? Pardon? Is this the Academy? That is the Academy, yes. Cute. I'm really jealous of this t-shirt you have, by the way. Why? Don't you have one? No. Yeah. Because we're women and we never get anything. I don't know what to tell you. I, I'm really... I, like, I, I would wear that. It's 100% like, cotton, everywhere. nice and comfortable. I know, look how thick it is. Yeah. I'm, I sleep I'm in it like, sometimes, it's that comfy. I'm just fucking jealous. Of, look at it. Makes me look That's huge too. Again, by the way. You got kidnapped. Your gun? Did your gun get taken no, again? Scotty, no. Scotty's been kidnapped fucking twice today. Maybe he just looks it's, real it's... kidnappable. I, I, like Siobhan. Even I thought about kidnapping Siobhan sometimes. What? She just looks kidnappable. Jesus. I'm gonna go sneakily walk past so I can see who's here. Have fun. Me looks kidnappable. I saw Lenny today. Oh, how's he doing? Not good. He's like, he's working at the wigwam. The what the? Isn't that like a sandwich shop? Yeah, he oh. was there handing out menus earlier. Oh. He said he's like sleeping in alleyways. Oh God. Yeah, I told him just you know, keep his head down, and when the sheriff election happens, I'll give him an expungement. We'll get him hired again. <laughs> Is that where you feel like you're gonna end up going? I don't know. I don't know yet. It yeah. all depends, right? It depends, uh, like, who's the sheriff, right? Well, the only two I think that I know are running anyway. Hello, uh, I'm Strelo, Sergeant. Hello. She's from Wisconsin. Oh, God. <laughs> and I mean, she's really from Wisconsin. <laughs> um... The only two that I know are running are Cornwood and Bones. Yeah. Uh, and personally, I don't know. Maybe it's not about who gets sheriff. Maybe it's about like what it's gonna be. You know. I mean, as much as I'll I would be honest with you, I just want to go patrol up north. As much as I would love the LSPD to operate in the city and run the city, and the sheriff's department to operate in Blaine County and Sandy. Like what our our 
It's not going to happen. I don't think so. Yeah, it's not ever going to happen. It would be nice, but... We don't have enough comp. See, and that's also my thing. I'm all for, like, departments. Because I, I like that. I think it breeds almost like... Evening? Uh, hell yeah. Like a healthy competition. I like that, you know? It can breed a little yeah. bit of animosity. But I, I, my thought process is I don't think a department split when this one's still growing is is going to help. Well, I don't think we get a choice, right? Yeah, I mean, it's going to happen. So we don't... Oh, the, the choice has been made. But it's going to be like, okay... Is, are they going to be prioritizing they want certain people? And chances are they're going to prioritize people who FTO. Yeah, I don't know. The whole thing's bucky. I'm not sure. I, I, I think it might create more problems. But, you know. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, so Turgle walks inside and Duncan says, Yo, Comic-Con's down the street. <laughs> nice burn. Uh, also, just said the other guy's in his first semester of college. He's just going ham. Oh, he said he told Frank to go to college, and he told yep. Gail the courthouse is south side. <laughs> Don't get said this. Yeah, he said I just want to give them all a good first impression. Damn, damn I like this, Duncan. Yeah. Well, he says he's on. He's going on. Uh, he's going to now be fun, Duncan. Funkin. I like Duncan, but there's no off switch. I don't know. How to, is there an off switch? Do you guys have a secret? An off switch no, in what way? Where he keeps flat, yapping? It's a flat line. There well, is no, no I just mean just... like. There's sometimes he talks to me and like, you know, I read a lot of manga. I'm not the best in social situations, but I know how to like even awkwardly make an exit. Like earlier, I asked Tessa <laughs> not to stab me. And she said something about that being defamation. And I said, okay, don't, don't stab me. And then I realized that means stab me. And I kind of got lost in my thoughts. And I said, okay, bye. And just ran out, right? So, like, I know how to make an exit. But with Duncan, I feel like I'm, like, trapped in, like, a gravity well. Mm -hmm. See, I, like, I don't know how to escape. I like to do the silent um, exit stage right. Oh, yeah? Just, like, make, yeah. like... I don't make Stage a direction. I, I, I just, I just say, I just do this, and I just do this. Because, or, right, I'll, folks, or so I'll tell him to shut the fuck here. up. I don't care. Cool. Um, let's uh, uniforms tour. Let's let's get started. Bay um, Bay should be Bay's gonna run a little late, but she will be here to help. Cool. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. oh an Irish goodbye. Right. I guess that's what that's called. If I just leave. I'll say an award. All right. I thought an Irish goodbye was just grabbing a bottle. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, you're thinking of a drink in each hand. That's called an Irish pair of handcuffs. Uh oh. Hmm. All right. Let's, I thought that uh, let's was a. Oh, okay. I thought that was a what? Come on. Mm. <laughs> mm. Who's the weakest link? It's not me. Everyone go hard on him. Perfect. Um, all right, anybody that's not oh, a cadet, admit, can you no, move along, cadets, please? Okay. Thank you. Oh, first of all, uh, this is Malachi, and he's our shift to dispatcher, and we like him a lot. Thank you. What? Oh, yeah, agreed. Where? He just he told him to leave. <laughs> leave. Yeah, he just... <laughs> oh, my God. Why does everyone make me feel bad about being an asshole? Hey, I appreciate you, okay? Well, you know I appreciate you, okay? <laughs> yeah, I know okay. you're good, Daryl. Yeah. He said we're all good. Hi. Yes. All right. Uh, uh, all right, how are we doing, everybody? Uh, welcome. You obviously all managed to uh, slip through the cracks and make it to a cadet. So don't make me regret that, please. Um, you all know who I am. I'm Sergeant Key, Mary Joseph McNulty, uh, Shift 2 Sergeant. Absolute pleasure. Uh, on my right here is uh, Mr. Crane himself, Senior Officer Crane. The assistant chief Ohio of police. Uh, Ohio. <laughs> Hi. Assistant chief of police, uh, Ruby York. Hello, everyone. And uh, FTO Avery Stone. Hello. Um, it's a smaller group, which is usually a lot easier to handle. We can control scenes a little more. 
big academies. I get a little fucking finicky because I feel like you managed to lose um, any kind of focus. We'll start off with the easy stuff. Uh, immediately to my right, there's a sign-up sheet. I need to make sure you guys all sign your name and clock on for me, please. Just on the far right of the uh, information desk. All right, once you signed on, you should have been given your MDT. I need you to all check your MDT and tell me on the top right of your MDT, um, your name uh, is present there. Yes, yep. sir. Yep. Uh, how do you access an MDT? Uh, you know, just think about it, you know, just, you know, use your old hands, your muscles there and pop it out. Try not to F this one up. It's pretty easy. Yeah, use your five muscles. Mm. No Carter. That's what it is. Yeah, got it. Uh, uh, all right, good. And your names are all on the top right? All good? Yes, yes sir. sir. Uh, okay, um, we are going to start off by getting you all into uniform, uh, sorting out your armory, uh, your belt and all that, getting you the equipment you need, and then we'll do a, uh, tour of MRPD, uh, have a little chit-chat and maybe introduce you to some of the people that you'll be uh, running about in shift two. We're currently two and a half hours into shift two. Um, once that's done, we'll probably grab some CVPIs, head up to... Uh, the Zankudo military brace and run through a few things. How's that sound? Good. Don't care. Let's go. Hey. Good luck, and Ruby. We, son. we will. We will. Good luck. What? Make sure you lock doors. Golden rule. Always check the door behind you is locked. Is right. That guy doesn't like you. I don't know why. I just yeah. met him. Yeah, weird. Yeah, I feel like it's the second time this has happened now. Uh, yeah, right, people in this PD don't <laughs> like you for some reason. Ah, uh, they'll warm up to me eventually. It's fine. Lady? Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Cool. You wanna run? You wanna run? For the numbers? Yeah. <laughs> on the on the rack. The rack number. Yes. There you go. Yeah, I'm ready for jacket. Jacket is four four three style one. Uh, it's actually changed now. It's all sorted by PD now. Yeah, there should be like separate categories for some yeah. of them. It should help. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh... I think pants are still the same though, right? Or is it different? And pants are still one six three. Uh what are you using for undershirt at the moment? That is Frank the Missile. Frank uh, Williams. Oh yeah, undershirt is under the PD, it's one nine seven is mine. Just round. Okay. Yeah, apparently he's been around for a hot minute. Obviously, I think he's before my time as well, but apparently he's, he's got like five plus years police work. Yeah, 197. Is this an experience bash? I think if you... I if think you, out of the six, three... It's, uh, I'd say it's uh, about 50-50. I don't know how that works, but it says 197 for me. Yeah, because you had it before they... Uh... What's, the, what's the question? Oh, it's the one with the taser. It's PD4. PD4. Okay. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, nice. uh, yep, Panzer one six three. Mm. Turgle, obviously Turgle leans on the less experienced side, right? Earpiece. 
mask, it's 121. Then you've got... Uh, I think I think most of them are experienced. Aspen, you got Molly. She she's got prior experience. Shoes are 141. All right. Decals are 146. So 14, hold on. Yeah, I, I like this batch. We had yeah, one, one person dropped out, um, and then another one. Uh, I'm doing a um, small. They can only they they usually are free. They're yeah, usually free weekend uh, Thursdays and Fridays, Saturday. but they actually had to work. So I told them I do a personal academy for them on Saturday. I need water. What's the you usually gun on the hip as well. I'm using PD one. It's still insane how rarely you see people from academies on duty. Yeah, it's retention. That's why we like, we just got to keep pushing, keep fighting. Continue on growth training and trying to make a better PD. Good and bad days, but I'm not stopping, you know. And you're just missing the gun, right? Yeah. Just had such better days. Nice, sick emo, dude. Who's slinking out of the shower? Oh, that fucking guy. Where's Guns under a uh, scarf and necklace. If there's a PD section, it's PD1. Is the hip one, if you want. There's also, like, the thigh and all that. Chris King is going to a bench trial again. And I think you should be good. Yep. Good. Oh, Jesus Christ! Sorry, sorry, sorry. I do not right, know how to sweet. feel about that. Uh, all right, look good. You got that uh, hanging up on your locker? Yeah. Uh, all right, good shit. It was easy. We only had to do it with one person. Yeah, yeah. They're, I, I, I looked around. And I was like, oh, okay. Is it? Yeah. Like I said, one had to pull that out of Academy, and the other one I got to do a personal Academy on Saturday. So right. we should have one more. I heard, I heard that one of the previous cops that applied... Uh, Paid with rolled cash. Did you hear this? No. Apparently, one of the... I, I don't know. Apparently, one of the cops that applied paid their application fee with rolled cash. And so they got told they had to, like, reapply or go to the next academy or something. Who was it? Uh, I don't remember. That's... I mean, it mu I mean, this looks like money, right? <laughs> <laughs> I need to fix my arms, I think. Yeah, we're quite... Oh, yeah. It's got the clip yeah. issue. It's like... I don't, I don't like big academies, if I'm honest. No, they're terrible. Yeah. 
That's what, like that's when I, I heard, uh, when I heard about this Meg Academy, I was like, I don't think my my biggest pet peeve about academies is when there's too many people because it allows people to know that they're not being looked at all the time so they start like fucking fidgeting and doing dumb shit not paying attention yeah and it also allows like the ftos and shit to fuck around which makes them not as serious it's just dumb it's better especially it's better too if you um if you have like a one-on-one -on -one ratio of like ftos and cadets because then at the end of the academy day you can just set up like a robbery scenario with like five ftos and like you know five cadets or six cadets and then one fto just watching yeah and so you can give them like a credible scene you know what i mean it feels more personal right yeah and you know you can go through shit like okay we're gonna do a dry war and we'll show you how we would do it first and then we're gonna have you do it and then we'll turn up the heat and we'll start adding in like interference and you can actually give them like actual experience yes bradford uh i had a question for mr C uh, crane here who the yeah. fuck is calling me? um Sorry, sir. I was just wondering. There's a lack of units patrolling currently. I was uh, wondering if I could perhaps use a Taurus for my patrol endeavors. Yeah, sure. Oh, uh, thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Yahudas. Thank you. Thank you. I I say I say keep looking. What what was the thing? Wow. Man, really followed that chain of command. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, stolen PD vehicle. Great. Dundee stole it from the hospital when Decker had a ride-along inside it, apparently. Uh, Dundee dropped off the ride-along, but then kept the vehicle. And because PD's, like, down bad on numbers right now and didn't want to deal with him trying to sell it to them or whatever, he is now selling it in Vespucci. Some things never change. Mm-hmm. Oh, also, I learned a new uh, trick today. Okay, what you, what you There's got? There's been a couple times that I've chased uh, somebody who's gone into the movie set, mm -hmm. and they've gone into what would be the southern edges of the movie set. The like, slip? if you make it right. Yeah. If you're going east, then you make it right. Um, and I've always ended up losing them, and I figured out finally what they're doing. Uh, they go to the right the first chance they have if they're entering from the western side, right? They make an immediate right, and then they take the first left, and there's a little like architectural feature that pokes out. Mm -hmm. And so if you hug the wall after you make that left past the architectural feature and someone looks down the alleyway, they won't see you like 85% of the time. Hmm. So, they, so that's why what I, are they... the guy was seems like he just disappears. And then he just takes, he can either take an immediate left and just drive back out of the movie studio or he goes straight and then goes into like the water fountain area and then does a little loop around on the stairs. What, like they cut the engine and just stop it in the hopes that you drive well, past? There's like, um, I mean, there's multiple options, right? But when you're when you're driving past that alleyway, it's so narrow and you're going so fast trying to catch up that you only catch like 10% of the car. And that's if you're looking left the whole time. Oh, I think I, I think I can picture what you're talking about. I'll, I'll show you later. It's 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 pretty interesting. I finally because I finally was right on bono, it today. pro bono. Yeah. Um, and I managed to see him going down the alleyway, and I was like, oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, so the, 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 Is that Archer? Yeah, see, I can see police no. The that was other Archer. Yeah. I don't know her name. What's her name again? Uh, uh, <laughs> so, you know, you Tilly. Back and forth, there you go. Thank God for blips. Yeah. Broke? What, what did you do? No, Decker called Tilly the hot archer. <laughs> no, he did not. <laughs> he did to her face. Holy fuck. <laughs> I was like, brother. <laughs> Man, he really knows how to talk to ladies. <laughs> 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 
I should ask him for tips. I only read about uh, it in like romance mangas, but uh, he seems like he's an expert. Rub Street turns into ouch. Oh, you want to hear something really awkward? I love awkward, yes. I think uh I think someone's framing Lenny. Okay. Okay. It's what do you mean? So I got this call the other day about someone said that like Lenny and Jamal were on a motorcycle and then they claimed uh that DOC got shot by Jamal or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know exactly what happened. It was very vague. I literally got told this on the side of the road at another scene. So I go to the prison, I find blood on the ground, I find a casing, and I run the blood, and it comes back to Bobby Charles, and I run the casing, it comes back to Kid Archer's Glock. And then there was another scene uh, by Lenny's new work, The Wigwam, uh, and there was Lenny's blood on scene and another casing from Kid Archer's Glock. But Lenny never stole Kid Archer's Glock. He just shot her. You sure it's not from a previous robbery? Yeah, but how would he, he, he was, he was still a cop then. No, I mean like, oh wait, you're talking about like way back when? I'm confused by the time frame here. When did this, when did this transpire? And all this stuff happened after he got fired. Mm. And then it might've been someone stole one of Archer's Glock and still has that maybe Glock, still right? has it? Yes. Yeah, I don't know, but it's just weird because it's like, Lenny wouldn't be dumb enough to use Kid Archer's Glock if he did steal a gun, because then it, yes, it looks really bad, right? Because it's like so shot her, you know. It, if if there's only there's only one group I know that has some kind of beef with with Lenny, and it's the clowns. Maybe it's the clowns. Yeah, because I I got I got some nine one ones a while back, in regards to an anonymous nine one one saying, "Yo, I I just saw a red and color club with a shark library." Um, I th I think I saw Chatterbox wielding a gun. Ooh. And I pull, I find Chatter and I pull him over, and I'm like, yo, it's got an ammo one that someone in here has been brandishing a, a gun, and he was like, oh, yuck! And I was like, okay, can you step out? Let me pat you down. He's like, Wait, oh, don't. What did you say? He said, oh, yuck! You know? Okay. Um, so I'm like, hey, do you consent to the search? And he's like, yeah, I got nothing to hide. No gun, no nothing. And he was like, D -d do you know who called this in? I was like, well, it's anonymous. And he was like, it was probably Lenny Hawk. He's been trying to get me arrested, so I have to go up to Bolingbrook to work off all my time. Oh. Yeah. Maybe they do hate Lenny. All right, I'll look into it. Yeah, I tried talking to him, but he was, ugh. He's, like, complaining about living on the street with rats. Oh. Rubber rats? doesn't sound too good. Well, I imagine going from a steady-paying job and... To working at the wig to work at the wall with the wig <laughs> yeah hey guys. not great hell yeah cassidy okay oh my god we're 25 subs oh yeah hello Virgil's hair is very green that's the overarching discussion yeah i have no money Oh. Our clothes cost three hundred dollars. And I wasn't ready. So how much money? how much money do you have in your bank account? Well Wait Tilly. Uh a hundred and thirty two dollars, <laughs> sir. Oh my god. Wait, was that Tilly or Kit? That was That was Tilly. Okay. Concerning Tilly walked in and Tilly walked out. Wait, so do we call Kit Ugly Kit or... No, no. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to understand. No. I am Tilly. What's yeah. up? Hello. How's it going? I'm confused oh, by woman. Decker's I mean, also blonde, commentary. But you're kind of kinda ginger, too, so... Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, I am. Not wrong with that. Strawberry blonde, right? Exactly. Well, they, yeah. gingers don't have souls, so there was something wrong with that, but it's fine. Yeah, that's oh, why I don't feel bad about I shooting people. No all right, all right, that's wonderful. What did you say, I'm darling? I'm sorry. Oh, nothing. What'd you say? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, my mom said I had no soul. Your mother? Uh huh. Is it because How you're a ginger? Oh yeah. That's probably it. Your mother. Yeah. Your mother said oh, you have no boy. soul. 
Yeah. It was oh. your mother. I don't really know. I haven't she seen Sounds like a straight shooter. Yeah, yeah, probably. I don't know her. And a baddie. <laughs> Baddies birth baddies. It's a known fact. What the hell is Thank wrong you. with you? Wrong with... Oh, she you... She just said huh? her mother was shitty to her. And you were like, yeah, well, well at least no, she's a because... baddie. York, well, can you oh, jump, please? Okay, that's like, all I know. No. Uh, He's a baddie. Did, did, did you know... Oh, can yeah, you do some aerobics real quick? I think that's oh. a good thing. That sounds like something Decker would ask. Thank you. What's up? I, did, did you know the uniforms are not supplied anymore? You guys are like, what do you mean? Well, most of my people are now poor oh, from yeah, getting, like having $700 to... Oh, yeah, I paid like $700 getting my shit right. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And you've still got the wrong pants. <laughs> but anyway. No, for... What? Yeah. You should, like, check out the SOPs, you know? Are you guys paratroopers? Dab, dab on him. Dab on him, York. Dab on him. You a Don't worry, he's got you the should wrong like ones check on the too. SOPs, Brit. You've got the wrong ones on too. I know, I know, I do, but I look good. Good God. My name's Gail Donaldson. Wonderful to meet you. Look, I don't. Uh, I think. <laughs> Listen, have, have... don't look at Gail's <laughs> neck, okay? For some reason, they only gave the wide neck Madam's... shirts to the men and not to the women. <laughs> no, it doesn't work for us either. Oh, wait, wait, we got the wide neck shirt. Yes, you guys have oh, wide neck shirts. I asked for that shirts. a long time ago. That's they know it got put dollars. in. Nice. Don't look so at anyway, her neck. Why? What's wrong with it? It's well, it kind of, she kind of broke the neck of her shirt. Oh, oh yeah, that used to have a thick neck, huh? Anyway, most of them are extremely poor now <laughs> from getting a uniform. <laughs> it's got, a, got a neck on her like a tree trunk. Um, I'll offer them a thousand dollars each to research an Oshi and tell me why they picked them. I'm gonna learn so much. Sounds good. Yeah, uh, we do right. need to do um go. At some point yeah, we soon, we need to take all I of them no to money. senior buns. They're all starving and, and poor. Oh, I got food oh, for a bunch of people. I brought food. Oh, well. I have like six meals. So we have a bunch of kids who are poor and broke and have thick necks. Yes. Uh, also, uh, My neck is Ruby. reasonably sized. Yeah, Turgle's having a lot of fun. Oh, Just say that. Turgle's having fun? What does that mean? I mean, okay. I warned her it was going to be hard. So the SOP is the way it's worded. I'm, the I'm green, you know how like the hair roots have to be black or yep. natural color? Yep. yep. If she puts I'm black sure roots, her hair becomes neon green. Cool. Versus if she has her regular hair, it's normal green. Well, I mean, one's SOP so the when the other one's not. The neon green is approved, but the yep. normal. Yeah. Oh, hey. what? I mean, what? hey, do you see yeah. my hair? See how bright this is? This is SOP compliant, but my light shade of purple trunks purple hair was not. not. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And I think you look great. Bye. You Bye. Bye, Tilly. I almost called her ugly or beautiful kid. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to stop thinking that now you told me that he said that. <laughs> I know. That's why I told you that. It's so fucked up. It's not. <laughs> and here, here it, it, it Decker's like monotone delivery. <laughs> Hot kid. Oh, God. Great. Yep. And uh, can you kindly remind me of your name? Oh, Aspen Gray. You can just call me Aspen Gray. Aspen Gray. Yeah. Okay. We love it. Yeah. All right. Wonderful to meet y'all. I'm Gail. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm not gonna lie. I I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I might mm -hmm. forget a couple of times. You probably will. Let's be honest. Knowing you. Uh, I'll. I know what everyone looks like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will remember me. That's all. You know what? That's understandable. We're big. Uh, we're gonna I do feel like everyone in part of this academy is quite different, though, which I like. So, uh, I agree yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. They have personalities. That's what I aim for. It's like, you know, experience is one thing, but uh, I, I want someone I actually want on duty. Yeah. Who's Molly? The um, blonde on the right. Say in the AM. Oh my God, you're the AM. Okay. I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'll take it as wow. a compliment. It's like you know when you drink orange juice in the morning. It's like really refreshing. That's Carter like didn't get approved. Refreshing morning <gasps> wow. AM. I like that. Orange Very juice. Too. <gasps> I and your that. hair's orange. Oh my oh. God, I'm too good. Okay. That's perfect. <laughs> thank you. Well, all right. Oh my God, Jim. Uh, Hi, Flank. Hello. Miss you. I miss you. Hi. Hello. They should kiss. Hi, Asp. Has anyone ever Thank told you. you you're very ugly? All That's right. Really rude. What the hell? You, you know what? 
I don't know your name, but believe it or not, they have told me I'm ugly. Oh, I do believe oh. him. Wow. I mean, I guess. Totally wanted. Believe it. Wow. <laughs> I mean. Uh, that did not are, end up are you, the way. Are you feeling? Are you, are you feeling <laughs> left out? Do you want to get called ugly too? I'm just no, kidding. no. I think I'm okay, good. I okay, think okay, I'm good. Okay, I think cool. I'll pass in that one. I appreciate that. You know what I enjoy is that when we're playing nine one ones, our call signer nothing brought is brought up. <laughs> oh yeah. How do you think I got away with the TLDR all the time? <laughs> I mean, and then people going, whoever like that was. That, yeah. Like, yeah. You're like I don't know. Yeah. I was I don't know. But anytime someone is like, hey, uh, up to? I just witnessed someone get shot. Hey, like, cool. Jimbo, these are recruits. Oh, hey. Sir. Hello, recruits. Hello, My name is Jimbo Sutton, a.k.a. Jimbo Sutton. Does anyone ever call you Jim Bob? That's not a cool nickname. Bob Jim. Slim Jim. Uh, I go by Jim, James, Jimothy, Jim, Jim all. Oh, Jim all, okay. That's a good Wait, one. didn't Cornwall get promoted to senior? He did, yes. What are you guys waiting for? You just, just bulling here? Oh, Cornwood again doesn't have two stripes on his shoulder. Go put your two stripes oh, on. Yeah, you Cornwood. Yeah, Cornwood. Ooh. Uh, my tailor is busy, apparently. Oh. Oh, no. So, work in progress. Work in progress, fellas. Hi, Ruby. Is, is that SOP uh, compliant? <laughs> uh, yeah, it is actually. I, I know that's the best part. <laughs> It's okay. We love Oh loopholes. my god, Shift 2's gonna have a fucking uh, field day with that. Some things were done on purpose, okay? Maybe <laughs> uh, a cadet right. today? What? No, go do your yeah. fucking job. You're a cadet right. every day. Burn. Uh, nice. Assistant Chief Burn. Uh, um. Mm, hey, Cornwood, do you want to introduce yourself? Mm. You just no. introduced him. Oh, yeah, but if you want to. Hey, he, Howdy, y'all. I like your hat, sir. Thank you. Yeah, it's my, it's my running for sheriff hat. Sheriff's election is going to open up soon. Mm -hmm. Don't tell so them. How, how many we got today? We got four. Don't tell them to vote. <laughs> that, no, turn around and count. That's five. That, that's okay, five Ruby. there. Whatever you say. <laughs> yeah. Is he good? Is he on something? <laughs> Hey, that's that exit you were talking about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is. Yeah, yeah. Cornwood cannot perceive my presence. It's been oh, that way for a what while. What did you do to him? What? Does I that... think he's been hexed. Does that mean you can, like, pull pranks on him? Oh, like, you know, no. take his PD Glock? Make it float around well, I him? I did sneak into his car one time. Sick. Okay, that's... Yeah. Let's not talk about that. Uh, we good. We good, folks. Skate park. We need to get them money. Yeah. Scratch my face into the dirt. Yes, I don't have that. I have one point four k. That's not enough. I'm fine. <sighs> all right, I'll I'll go get my fucking hard-earned money that you're all gonna pay me back fucking tomorrow. What? What do you, what do you mean? What? It's my money. Go I'm eight, going so back to call. Don't worry. The, it's the the thing is this is one of my least favorite Blink One Eighty Two albums, but I fucking love this song. Just because of the quick, rapid change. I think you had to ten nine that. Nine three. Did you check this alley I'm I'm facing right now? Hey, what is your queen twenty? I'm on orch I'm on innocence. Cro the alleyway and cross of uh, innocence in Orchville. No, I, I have not checked it, but two three days ago there was an incident there with a lot of with a lot of evidence and fragments etc. So you may be getting some evidence from oh. that situation. Yeah, I, did that local nearly going? took you fucking out, Red? Are you good? We need to talk. Huh? We need to talk. I need to talk to an officer. Uh, I'm in academy, brother. Are you, are you able to make a report? 
No, so I can, but it's also I something more than that. So I was quote unquote. In uh, here, pull over. I was quote unquote robbed. Okay, I, 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 was, I, I, I brother, I need a cat. Many, I, like oh, what? Shit. Do you need like a senior or? So, it's one of those things where I might have a fucking huge bust for you guys. Like Who's... somebody paid me fifteen thousand dollars to give them my gun, otherwise they were gonna rob it off me anyways. Who? Uh, here, l let me let me pull over so I can talk to you. I don't want to be yelling this shit. Oh, this. I still had the money on me, but Steve, uh, I'm gonna put it in the trunk because this is literally everything. I think we're good I here. We can. Oh, shit. No, we're not. Oh, my God. Okay. What is it? Uh, it We've got a bank token heavily on the radio merger in uh, northbound Orchard Belt, which fridge Don't Don't hand it to me just yet. Just explain like to me what you're trying to do. I got a phone call from Steve. This is what he calls himself, Steve or Steven, from the manor. They are buying guns from civilians. The and they. Yeah, from the manor. Yeah, they're buying guns from the civilians. That want, like they're buying from them. Who the fuck's the manor? Grand because there's no tax on guns right now, so it's like, it's a chill five grand profit for me right now. But it was it's literally the yeah I could told them no and he would just came, they would have just came by and robbed the gun off me anyways. They're searching up people with gun licenses and hitting them up. If the people don't take the deal and pay for it, they're just gonna yeah. I, okay, anyways. I need you to go to Ember and yeah. I'll get an officer to meet you there to to look into this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because I, I seen this. I'm like, yeah, this is a big opportunity. Yeah, no, this for you that, guys that, to that, that is. Hey, Coyote, oh, go yeah, ahead yeah, and yeah. Ju just worry about uh, pictures and collecting. I'll worry about spotting it inside, okay? Radio check. Thank you. Central. Is there a 10 8 unit available? We're all dealing with a shootout in Cyprus right now, but I can get somebody to break off to you. What's up? I have a red Harrington, uh, and I need someone to take his report at uh, MRPD. Doesn't mind waiting like five, ten minutes, we'll be done. We okay. really have no more room to place evidence. Can uh, someone use come SV with their car so I can place in the trunk, please? Yeah, use this V Star. What about two and a half cage? Fuck's sake. I got all the evidence north of where that skirmish is on uh, Orpicville. And four, looks like it goes across the street to the construction yard as well. Dominic, am I clear to pick all this up? Did you photo it? Jimbo. Yeah, stuff outside and then... Hello, yes, sir. Uh, can you take Red Harrington's police report and the front library of MRPD, please? Yes. yes. Thank you, you're a gem. You are killing it. You are loved and you... Yo, Cornwood. Howdy. Um, Red Harrington's in the, um, I got Jimbo looking into it, but just because, uh, you might want to as well. I got J Red Harrington in the lobby of MRPD. Apparently, a group called The Manor is reaching out to civilians and offering them 15 grand to buy their guns. It was a good deal. Yeah, apparently they're claiming that. So I just want to keep you in the loop in case it's something you want to okay, look yeah, into as well. Okay, good to know. Good to know. All right. All right. Bye, Joe Academy. Oh. Oh, beat us, for fuck's sake. Oh, it's inside my brain. Good. All right. Um, and then the two more additional stuff we have right over here is our item scanner and our weapons registry. So if you want to come over here to the item scanner... If you get something here, you can place it onto it, and it'll show you the DNA of who last touched this. So it's good with evidence. It also shows you like older DNA and newer DNA. So it's something you need to keep in mind when you put it there. Ruby, do you have something I can put on there? Yeah. There. Take my flashlight. Oh, thank you. The floor. So yeah. I'm gonna take a flashlight here, and I'm just gonna put it on the scanner here. Wait. Turgo, you 
Turkle, give me that back. You've got okay. money. Give me that back. And then if y'all want to take turns what? here, y'all can scan it. No, and I it'll don't. show you the she DNA. She just bought a house. She's poor. Of who's touched it. Yeah. And then once you look at the DNA, let me check your bank account. That number, let me check your bank account. And open up your MDT. Check it. Go ahead. And look and try to figure out whose DNA that is that's on that item. You've got nine grand. Give me that back. That's nothing. Give me that back. Are you able to see it, Frank? Yeah, I can see it. Perfect. And then, what's your name, Gail? If you want to give it a try. Uh, Gail, yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and just look at it, find the DNA, and then go into the MDT oh. and search the DNA for it. Can I flashlight, dude? All right. All right. Perfect. Let me get on the line. Frank, you've actually worked and have money, right? Yeah, I have. Good on you. Good on you for oh. contributing to society. Yeah, I, I decided to, you know, actually make money before possibly getting hired. Man, that's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, I made money. <laughs> Uh, Gray, do you want to go? Are you a homeowner? No. Oh. I am. Yeah, actually. I live with your parents. I have a mind palace. Wait, right, Sherlock Holmes. I'm able to afford to apply here because Talk I sold a for Neil to Kid Archer for 2.5k. Which I was told hey. uh, it was not worth. So that was very kind of her. That's where I store all my ducky muckers. You're what now? Did you have to Google it. Flashlight? No, it's all right. Okay, cool. You're what? Sorry, perfect. say it again? Yeah. Daki Makaras. Ooh. I have a mind palace too, actually. Slax is in there and he yells okay. at me. Okay, all right, buddy. There. Perfect. Great. So then just take that number what? and then you MDT and see I've got a collection. To. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I the, the thing is, I believe you. Excuse me, sorry. Does anyone have any questions about how the DNA scanner works? Nope. Does it always work? Question? No, definitely not. I assume no. Again, it, it'll oh. tell you, you know, if the DNA is like, if it's recent, if it's like older, you know, so keep that in mind. Because sometimes it'll come back, we know three or four people have held on that, you know, specifically weed or something. It's very important also. Um, so if you like collect evidence out on a scene that you plan to run through the scanner, you really need to ensure that you pick it up and then don't fuck with it until you put it in the scanner. Because if you're going to sit there and, like, pick it up and then put it in your glove box and give it to your friend and put it on the ground and pick it up again, there's a very high likelihood that whatever... I've never been going to Nick. I just want to go. goes in your pocket and it goes in the scanner and that's it. Yeah, I have a feeling, uh, I have a feeling, um, out of anybody who's getting that first in this class, it's money, Turkle. We're going to go over to the shop over there. Um, you need to buy a Glock 17. A taser, a nightstick. Hold on, you might have to go a bit slower. I'll slower, I'll slower. Everyone, all right, start with the Glock 17. Okay, and then everyone yeah, get a stun gun. Okay, no get a nightstick. Shit. That will make a difference. I can talk to a shit. flashlight. My dad and is your boss! <laughs> Uh, you want to get a government radio, a camera, a watch. You want to get chest armor. I already can't afford all this. To the chest armor. <laughs> okay, how much more do you need? Armor plates. Oh, uh, the camera's a lot. That's the okay, big just one. Okay, just the camera for now, then. The, yeah, the we, we don't need that for now. That'll be... Okay. Yeah, just the camera, yeah. We'll so, uh, make sure you get the armor, chest armor, as well as armor plates. Uh, I cannot quite afford <laughs> okay. that. Just tell I me how much and I'll put the rest now. in your pocket, yeah. okay? Uh, so, how with your points? gun and your taser, uh, just to get, like, two for now. We can get more later. Um, you want to get magazines like, for your okay. cart <laughs> block magazine. But 
You just need to buy like one or two. It'll give you like 30 cartridges, I believe, with it. And we'll load that up in a second. Okay. Thank you. Anybody need a little more? Nah, I'm good. And then you should be able to get all of those and then we get more stuff later. But that should hold you for oh, the basics. Dang. Everybody got everything they need? Don't need any more cash? You okay? Yum. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, sir, I do actually do not need this, I so I will I uh, defer it to anyone else who needs it. Sick. Hey, Can I have my that? teaser? Let's start with your, uh, with your Glock. Can you what, sorry? So I, want you to take Can a, I, I already bought another one, box? but I think you have my taser. Okay, Why would I have your taser? Uh, remember last night when there were some shenanigans occurring? <laughs> I think I might have handed it to you on accident. No, I've got my taser. Let me, let me. You don't have another one? Fuck it. That's so all. I think when some shenanigans were occurring. No. Can open up and make nope. sure there's something in there. See it here. Sorry, I was talking to Crane. Sorry, sorry, ma'am. Sorry. Sorry. Anybody got bullets in there? Yes, ma'am. Um, I seem to be unable to uh, uh, load my gun, ma'am. No worries. Is it in your hands? Are you holding it? Well, when you look at that, that that's how it should be done. Thank you so much. You're good. Okay. All right. Same thing with the taser, guys. Take the taser ammo, put it into the cartridge. Do you have any graphics mods? Load your cartridges. Nope. What I like to do is keep a couple of spare of these in addition. So I keep two spare magazines of both my gun ammo and my taser cartridges. Some people do less, some people do more, but make sure you have at least one spare so you can reload out there. Mm -hmm. Once we got that loaded, I want everybody to go ahead and just uh, put your vest on. So put that chest armor onto your person, if that makes sense. Shoe polish, thanks to the 32! Just make sure you secure it really 25 subs away from 900. <laughs> Looks around. Alright, alright, let's see these vests, guys. Let's see these vests. Uh-huh. Perfect. And then once your vest is on, you've got it secured then, you can go ahead and uh, use that chest armor. And you should see your armor get a little bit stronger on your person. You might need to put a few scuffs on to get, you know, the full security there. So it's always important yeah, to carry a couple of plates with you because um, your vest may get damaged and you can always, you know, in the middle of a fight, take some cover, throw a new plate in there. Yeah. That's why I say stuff like plating up or he's cracked, he's one shot, he's blued, he's blued, he's cracked. You know, shit like that. One down, one on me, two oh, down, one down, <laughs> two down, one's cracked, no, one's blue, no. too far, too far, one's cracked, stop it, stop one shot, it. he's one shot, he's, one, he's, one, he's shot. Fucking one he's fucking one, <laughs> one, one sorry, yeah. you're good, all right, so naughty, then, um, the last thing you want to do is make sure you have a flashlight attached to your glove, he's one shot, he was in fact not one shot, yeah, and please do not have the items in your hands, because you have to place both of them in to the table, yeah, since that's going to be one at a time, if y'all want, y'all can come take a look. Uh, you can just search one of the officers here and just see kind of the different loadouts of how you want to set up, you know? People do different stuff, you know? I, I would recommend yeah. mine. Okay. Just whatever y'all know's preference. Nightstick, taser, gun, um, IFAC, camera. Sense. So, nightstick, because chances are I'm going to need a bonka motherfucker. Uh, taser because it's um, 
you use that every single day, all the fucking time. A uh, gun, lethal, because you just you're gonna need that. You are gonna shoot someone. Chances are you need that lethal at all time. And eye back is for your own personal health and safety. Right, next person to the table. Next the, bitch. the the uh, the the, 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 uh, oh. the fifth slot can honestly be used for just about anything. I just have my camera there. Yeah, so I do uh, I do gun, taser, eye pack, nightstick, flashlight, but everyone's got different what? preferences. What the hell? Yeah, this looks great. Yeah, yeah, I do gun, taser, IFAC, flashlight, and bonking stick. Yeah, that's my exact, yeah. <laughs> yeah, also feel free, guys, buy some IFACs, buy some bandages as well. I just, you know, whatever. <laughs> if, you, uh, if you do have enough for the watch, you can go ahead and use that watch too. It'll help with the compass. Uh, whoever's uh, next who, for the crafty? Next for the table. Yeah, you'll know the reason the watch is so fucking helpful is this you know, the second you get out of your car, um, it's very easy to lose your sense of direction. And if you got a mobile unit in a car and you're like, um, I'm I'm running towards the swimming pool in this alley, oh. that doesn't mean fucking shit oh. to someone who doesn't see what you're seeing. So having a compass slapped on your wrist, you were like, Oh, yep, yeah, uh northbound facing uh, towards the swimming pool uh, by the back alley. The the cardinal direction allows to whoever is running parallel and um, can now knows what direction to face and move. As opposed to just, you know, he's running this way. And if I ever hear, um, yeah, he, uh, he's over here by me. I'm going to flip. Also, uh, once, once one of the SOPs that you learn very quickly... We only ever wear vests when we are in actives or there's been an issue to only wear the vest because, you know, there's increased aggression against cops. Whenever you're in, a, a, you know, a, just routine patrol, actively patrolling or inside MRPD, uh, keep the vests off. You know, no one's about to shoot you in here. Yes, sir. Wow. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, whoever's Wait, next at the crafting doing? table can go. It was one Sorry? time. Thank you. Thank you. Was that one time that crazy lady somehow got inside and ran around? Oh, wow. AKA, Virgil, take your vest off. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'm curious um, how Turgle's feeling about the PD. Man, the game good. What's the yeah? Uh, why are the numbers so low wait, today? Go ahead, turn your radios on and head over to channel There's seven, four, please. Hmm. Is something on today? Uh, why we got the last people finished up crafting? The final important thing in the armory is the serial runner over there. So if you also want to go take your PD gun. And place it over yeah, there. Yeah, is it just Thursdays that, that are just slow for some reason? That equipment. Um, it's yours. If it's not yours, we have a today. problem. The Rangers and the Hurricane. Okay, um. Do you have the two pieces? And then you're going to sort of, you know, craft them together with uh, hot glue? So you kind of, uh, there, there's a list of all your personal items. All right. I think, uh, I think it should be together now. Awesome. All right. Perfect. Thank you so much. Sorry about that. Okay, that's all right. And who's left? Turgle? Best off. Yeah. And then you can just go run yes, the sir. gun over there. Check the serial for it to get a use of how we run guns. Yeah, you'll notice something about all your com uh, your equipment. Main pieces, anyway. Your nightstick, stun gun. All of it is linked to you. You'll notice uh, your state ID and serial numbers are imprinted onto just about everything that you buy. So it, it it's, it's basically like if you get held up and robbed, uh, what, what, you, on your first day, if you make it to a, uh, a cadet, 
will uh, log all of your equipment. So if, God forbid, you are held up and robbed, we can articulate, okay, if we find someone with, let's say, your nightstick with their serial number, we can be like, okay, we know that they were robbed for far more of this. So, boom, we just go raid them, right? Because they were the last person that we knew with this nightstick, so we know there should be more. So we write up a search warrant and get a raid done. So should we always keep note of like the actual serial number besides for? Well, it's the, it'll, don't 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 yes, I mean, but don't think too much about that because we'll go over that uh, in like an actual FTO cadet. We've got a system of logging everyone's shit and keeping track of it. So don't worry about that too much right now. Any other questions about the armory? Anything in here? You know what I just noticed? No, the flashlights the actually reduce recoil on the firearm. Look. It actually does something. Hey, McNulty. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, I just realized something. What? Uh, When I first got recruited, I think I got told to do that, like log my firearm and taser. Mm -hmm. And then I think we had to go to a priority call, and I don't think I ever did it. Oh. That. Ready, fellas? Um, yeah, there's a, um, there's a, there's a report that's just like logging it. Super easy. Just just throw it into it. Look. Test. Ten two. Uh, all right. Uh, who wants to give the tour? All right. I'm on it. Uh, it looks like it's a yeah, boy's turn. Yeah, go a for it. boy's <laughs> turn. Ew, go boy, go icky. Boy. Oh my God. All right, full kids. Um, Welcome to MRPD. I'm going to be giving you our, I'm going to be our beautiful tour guide. Okay. Uh, start with exactly where we are. Armory. Now, you'll notice the floors that we go on are kind of color coordinated. And it is a little bit easy to get lost around here. But yeah, the very first day, um, way back when we first opened MRPD, none of these signs were here. Nothing. Nothing. It was just good luck. Now there are signs. So please pay attention to them. Very very easy to get around, okay? Behind you, changing rooms, showers. It's where, you know, take a shower, relax a little, you know, grab your locker, get on on duty, keep your personal items in effect. Um, then obviously we have the armory. Don't have to go through that. We just went through it. A little seating area. Uh, how do I want to... Wanna any end? any uh, labs enjoyers? Labs? Like the dog? Like a Labrador? Yeah, never mind. I love puppies. Golden Retrievers are great. Oh, never mind. I have a dog. Uh, the stairwell doors on this floor, the, wait, the gr I call this ground floor. I don't know what half of you probably call it the forced floor. These are all American. So these doors, that door right there, never lock it, ever. Don't lock it. The locks in there are, are rusty as fuck. Sticky. Yeah, and, and they just get a little, just don't bother, just, just don't worry about it. All right, onwards and upwards. Uh, we've got elevators. They're used for secret meetings. Um, beyond it. Wow, the uh, evidence room. Uh, you'll see Deckers in there at the moment. Have a little poke in. Um, anybody that, you know, maybe has some former police experience knows that we had like an older system of evidence lockers. Now, we have an actual evidence locker system. So if you head into there, you can have a little peek. Mm -hmm. uh, peek at it. You'll see this full-blown evidence lockers. And it's a very, very good system. Cool. Yeah, no more. Yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, no more. No more. Cool. No more thinking about it. You and one of the yeah. most, uh, one of the greatest things about our evidence system is, you oh, find the evidence locker, you throw all the evidence in. It does everything for you. That's amazing. Yeah, literally does everything for you. Yeah, but I like. Yeah. Well, part. hold on, hold on. It, 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 it behind that door there in the corner. What you don't know is a secret laboratory. Food of people and scientists, and they run your blood and your fingerprints and everything. Hello, <laughs> Bay, how you doing? Uh, doing good, doing good. On a scale of one to late, uh, do I still make it? <laughs> can I still help? No, no, yeah, you can still help. Come on down. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I'll be on my way. You guys up at the airbase? Uh, no, we're still in MRPD. 
Actually, oh, what I can yeah, do, we're doing I can tours at the moment, and then just. Oh, you guys haven't. Oh, you guys, you guys haven't even yet. started. No, Easy. No, we, um, okay. we we obviously had the um, the Zoom call um to run uh, through everyone through some shit. They just got all their stuff for doing the tours. Uh, and then, uh, just come down, Murphy. Come down, Murphy. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, put your umbrella up, just like they do. Uh, okay, the evidence. Let's go. That's right. Anything with a yellow tag on the door is currently under construction. Uh, MRPD has like four floors, I think. Yellow tag, not operational. All right, top floor. Uh, I my guess is going to be all offices. Uh, all of the doors on the sides right now, again under construction. You know, while we get the budgeting and all that shit. This is the uh, meeting room for uh, command. This isn't even a room. Notice the mop bucket. All right, very pristine. Oh, top top floor. Uh, don't have to explain what this is for. We've obviously got... Are we gonna go in a helicopter? No. Um, nobody wow. gets to. Obviously... Don't ask me to fly. Okay, listen. Turbo, do you have 1.5 million dollars? No? I can okay. make that. So here's the problem. See these helicopters? We don't own them. Uh, right now, they're worth uh, 1.5 mil, and we will be doing a fundraiser. Yeah. Uh, helipad. Big fundraiser coming up. Yeah, Air One. I wouldn't. Don't worry your heads about it too much. Probably going to be used for larger things. 78 calls. Can anybody tell me what a 78th call is? Urgent now. Urgent backup. Yeah, you yeah. officer down usually. Yeah. Um. And then larger robberies happening in the city, your Mace Bank arenas, and then potentially to find um, grow ups in the city. Uh, air vents, I don't have to explain that. Let's go. What? I'm not gonna, I'm not there are some. There are they, so yeah. That I'm not sweating inside. If there's a fire, you have to run to the top floor with hoses. Oh, no, no, perfect. that just means if there's a fire. Yeah, what, you, we call firefighters? Stop. Let's stop Take the elevator up. Yeah, make sure the first thing, if a building's on fire, make sure to grab the women and children and get in an elevator. Perfect. Yeah. And everyone knows heat rises, so you have to go yeah. up as quickly as possible. So go to the top floor. That makes oh sense. God. There's more fresh air up there, so you can avoid hey, the smoke. Say Hi. hello to Bay, everyone. Hey, Bay. Hello, hello. Bay. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Frank, you're slow. Even you're the same, you're slow. Um, ground floor uh, below us is just a basement kind of construction. It's nothing. The Don't worry about it. Make sure everybody's true. One, two, over here, over here, over here. Okay, through here. Now, uh, this is probably where you would be spending 90% of your time um in mrpd um standing around getting a report done uh this is the basement of mrpd this is where pretty much everything is gone it's like the, the fucking beaten heart of mrpd through here uh fire exit that that goes out to center street i believe sorry not center little big horn uh, f we've got two interrogation and two observation rooms. Let me just make sure. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, po uh, poke your head in there. Wow. There is a box. So, we have a rule in MRP. You are not allowed to smoke in MRPD. Hello, bozos. Um, <gasps> yes. And, God? Uh, God. Yes, that is God. Um, you're not allowed to smoke in MRPD. There's wow. one room you're allowed to smoke in MRPD, and that's the interrogation rooms, and that's it. You're allowed to have a smoke on the rooftop, otherwise, no. And believe me, that's not something I'm a fan of, but it is what it is. 
Uh, okay, so come through here. <gasps> you found us. So, uh, if you have a little look at this little microphone that's glowing red, red means that they currently cannot hear us at all. Um, oh. Now, if I do. Hello? I know you did it. Yeah, there you go, right? Oh my god, she, yeah, what's up? Avery can hear us, and so she's going to jail because she eats babies, okay? <gasps> What? Yeah. I can't take me so. alive. That makes sense. No wonder she looks. And so now young. it's off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so. I the only time I've ever used this is to antagonize people, and that's about it. Um, not antagonize them. I mean, try to get information out of them. Obviously. Yeah, you're watching. I've done spooky sounds. That was fun. Yeah. Sometimes I like to say like, "I've got your mother in here. I'm pressing a gun to her head. Give me a confession." Um. Or I'm gonna blow our brains out, you know, stuff like that. You know, normal cop stuff. Any questions? Alright. Uh other interrogation observation. Um, same thing. Pretty much identical. Alright, uh, this will be the cell's airlock. Usually try to keep one locked, uh, both locked at all times. Don't, don't try to unlock the other without that one being locked. Mugshot room. Uh, I've been in here. Oh. Yep, for assault and battery. Oh, yep. Oh. You get it, please don't hit me. Um, mugshot no, okay. rooms. This There's is where spots. you'd get your camera oh, out. Okay. Take a little, take a little picture of Avery here, the baby eater. Um, personally, I like to make sure that the uh, the mugshot is correct. So sometimes for certain ninety fives, I like to climb up on the table and get a accurate representation of this height. Avery's probably about four foot tall, so that's not an actual a representation of her height. So you know, climb up on the yeah, table, four, eight. get Thank a pr get a proper a representation of their height. Um, if anybody complains about that, um, tell them they've got little people energy, and then move on. Um, when it comes to mug shots in here, uh, this is where we f like. Let's say I've arrested Avery, and she's got no ID on her, and she's not telling me who she is. I bring her in here, and I uh, if you flex your F one muscle. And uh, think about your police actions when you're looking at somebody. Uh, you can grab their fingers and scan their fingerprints right inside of here. Don't do it anywhere else. Because that is only where these fingerprint scanners work. Um, you know, you're not mobile with a finger scanner around the city. You know? Um, make sure they're cuffed when they're uh, when the mugshot's done. No glasses. No, no mask. No hat. Even if they're like, no, please, my mask. But I'm like, no, we have to. Have a picture of their face. Uh, if it's someone that's like, yeah, I've got a legal reason to have this. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Take the picture. Put it back on their face. Right? If that's their preference, that's fine. But make sure to uh, grab a picture of their face. Am I missing anything? The guy I am. No. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, sir. All right, what was that? Oh, I said yes, sir. All right, that's the lineup room. Head on in. It's basically exactly what you think it is. It's a lineup room. Wow. Uh, it oh, works. Sorry. It works in the exact. It works. This works in the exact same way as the interrogation room, where on the other side of that glass, it's one way. Then there's a microphone. Exact same thing. Um, you're able to talk to the suspects. Be like, "Yo, sus suspect number one, face the other way, dash right." Um, Stuff like that. Very handy. It allows us to put witnesses in front of the suspects and uh, potentially point them out. And, uh, you know, we've had a few slip-ups in the past, but that's uh, good shit. That's right. Okay. The center of the cells. We've got the drunk tank, uh, a.k.a. the big cell. Everybody wants it for some reason. I don't get it. it it's just bigger and has bars. Unfortunately, I don't and understand. No yeah, and Bigger no toilet. And then they complain I that they don't have a toilet. And then I'm like, well, you chose the cell, so shit oh. your pants and cry, you know? Uh, right there. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Who's the loudest cadet? Who's got pipes? Ah! Who can scream? All right. <laughs> when you tell me, it. whoever's loud, come here. Everybody come here. You can follow him. You, you can go. Okay. The tell me why room. Tell me why. Yeah, 
You think we could uh, remove the hey, drunk tank and get a rich. dunk tank? Nice. Yeah. Or, Leah, like a trap door on the floor that if they're being a little, like, cheeky, I can just pull the oh, trap oh, door. Oh, oh, oh. Academy got free food courtesy of Leah Strong in her coffee shop. If you see her, make sure to say thank you. Oh, thank you, Leah. What? Nice. All oh, right. Ah, Lord Master Elf. Hey. And trust us, you will get extremely loud people. Very Yeah, loud. but uh, my, my, want to stop. my take on the people that are extremely loud, putting them in that, that cell usually makes it worse. Because they're children whose parents never gave them attention, and they finally have attention. So usually if you don't give it to them, they stop barking, you know? How did he know that? Literally, how did he know? I don't know. I'm how? good at reading people. I don't know. All right. Oh wait. Um. Yeah. Right here. We uh. We've got a uh, lovely person who works behind the desk. So when someone's shit has been seized, uh, that's something we'll go over. Um. They're able to have their possessions returned to them here. Or, um. Let's say it's someone where I don't really want to return their possessions because they might do something stupid. You can. Uncuff them on the side exit that's just back that way. They can have their uh, possessions returned to them up in the main desk, just on the left. Um, filing cabinets down here is usually where we keep our DNA swab kits. Which, everyone's DNA will need to be put on file. Everyone. Yeah, we'll probably do that uh, down in... Uh, Yeah, we'll do that down in the fucking, uh... What's that fucking place called where we keep the cars? Motorpool? Motorpool? Motorpool. Yeah. There's also a trash can. Yeah, uh, the, we were told, wow. about, told about the trash cans. Anything you put in there will be thrown into a fucking incinerator and it'll be gone forever. So, you know. After storm. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm janitor. Keep it pretty clean. Anybody tell me what the meaning of a vestibule is? It's a, a hallway between two corridors. Y yep. Two rooms. Yep. A uh, little bit heroin in Ireland. Ve wow. <laughs> I've never been. I don't okay. Do heroin. Heroin's not that. No. I never done heroin. Never done heroin. Want to? It was one, two, couple times just to really. Tr don't do drugs. All right. Uh, never nice little desk here. A couple? Sometimes. Never said I've done heroin a couple times. No one. <laughs> hey, I've got. I still have all my teeth, don't I? That's For a good now, point. are they veneers? Uh, <laughs> Pete the fifth. Uh, nice veneers. little sub office. Some uh, honestly, I think if you came and hid down here to do reports, I don't think anybody would know where you are. Not a whole lot of people come true here. This is probably the quietest part uh, in MRPD. Notes down is a good hidey hole. Uh, this is the stairwell that will lead you back up to the other side. This is the Wait, pipe. What's the pipe room? We don't talk about that. It's currently locked. Uh, we'll tell you what the pipe room is oh, once you become uh, Sergeant oh. Plus. Otherwise, That's Decker. Okay, never yeah, mind. I get it. Yeah, you're not allowed to know what the pipe room is. Uh, you're not clear. You know, it's like clearance. Nope, you're not cleared for that kind of shit yet. Maybe, maybe if you make it to a recruit uh, cadet, I'll tell you. You know, maybe. Oh, okay. Maybe. Maybe. Booty on duty? Is that what? Nope. Okay. Oh, I don't want it then. What the hell? What the? Who would you not want booty on duty? Uh, security that office. Scares me. Uh, you'll notice all the way around uh, MRPD, especially in the dispatch room, which is above us. Um, you are able to operate the dash cams that are being used by um, the PD around. I have a feeling in the next couple of days, a uh, new SOP is probably going to be added in regards to enforcing the use of dash cams. Uh, because they are extremely useful in regards to if anything happens to an officer. Uh, you've got a dash cam in their vehicle to tell us what happened. You can have a peek if you'd like. If anybody's running them. Uh, this also works as the area where all the keys of the vehicles are kept. So anytime you take a vehicle out, you take the keys from uh, the office worker here. He'll give you keys to the car and you're good to go. Does anyone work in here ever? Um... No, I don't really see a lot of people in here. That was scary. 
This we can sometimes chit chills in here. I would love someone that worked in here and chit chatted. Uh, all right. Okay, the motor pill. I have no idea what you just said. Motor pill. Did we get our own car. What does that mean? No, you don't get your own fucking car. Damn it. As a full officer, you can buy your own car. Wow. Wait. How much is it? Sponsor me? No. Shit. How about you? Work? There are shared CVPIs and shared Tauruses, yeah. but you cannot put turbos in them. Not to mention, uh, you are not allowed to drive anything. Uh, beyond the CVPI until you become a full officer. Unless a uh, senior above authorizes it for, let's say, low numbers and we need better cars out, right? So if you come over here and flex your... Think about, uh, you know, not NASCAR, but Formula One. There's a vehicle list there. And our entire fleet is there. Yes. And don't be like this person and park your car in the valley. Yeah, fucking arsehole. <laughs> uh, and then, and then over here, this is the um, this is the Valley Motor Pool for the PD bikes, which I think both are. There's a cruiser parked here. What? Mm. Someone's getting slapped. Uh, for the PD bikes, anybody here? A good bike, a uh, good bike guy. Any bike guys? Yeah. Well, you can't touch it until you're a full officer. Yo, well, these bikes suck anyway. Also, we, we, got, here, we got trucks? Pardon? I said if they truck? park there, they're gonna get yelled at. Yeah. But you mean trucks? You mean a cara cara? Yeah. Yeah, we've got uh we've got a we do have a we do have a lot more cars that are currently in the showroom, but a lot of them we don't have access to. Right now we have access to a uh the Vapid Cruiser, a Taurus, a Cara Cara. PD bikes and PD bicycles. And scouts. Uh, and scouts and a V Star. I want one this of thing those. has a radar. Yeah. Front yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep my feelings about bicycles and bike patrol. <sighs> yeah, you should. Because everyone's allowed to you know, have their fun. Yeah. And enjoy yeah, okay. whatever part of policing they mm -hmm. like. So cute. No, really good I've carried a suspect on this. Yeah, wow. it's a, yeah, you can jump on the back, it's pretty cute. Um, I love they that have guy to be being cuffed. arrested. They have yeah, to be yeah, cuffed. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're cuffed. They're cuffed, of course. That guy's going to jail. Enjoy what? jail. He's going to jail. Yeah, that guy's going to jail. Um, all right. Do we want to? Kisses. Do we want to get their DNA swabbed here, or do we want to do that tomorrow? Uh, we could even do it uh, first day. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Yeah, all the small things are. I'm keeping a list. Great Blink 182 song. Oh yeah. Um, not the best album though. Uh, anyway, Bop Bop Booey. Blink 182, you're so old. Blink 182. Yeah, I mean, Punk's not dead. Okay, I'm only 22. That's not that old. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Why'd it go so? Fuck you guys. <laughs> um. Sorry. Uh, being polite. Uh, all right, we've got the two lockable doors on the left here. Anytime you're really bringing a suspect in, you're parking over there. Uh, oh, back over on the far left, we've got a uh, a Benny's back there on the far left. That's where you uh, will apply the light bars, liveries, uh, ALPR, and all that shit. This is the exit door. We enter through that exit here. Um, as on fire just demonstrated, we also have a uh, parking up here. This is usually where PD will keep their personal um, PD vehicles, because people have a habit. If anything's parked in the shared, they're they're gonna drive it, because that's what it is. It's a shared parking. Okay. Cute. Here we have our little break room. Coffee machine! Oof. 
Well, we used to have an espresso machine that was given what to us by uh, the mayor. Um, and then I think someone bitched and moaned and it got removed and now we just have shitty drip coffee. But I like drip coffee. But oh, it is what it is. Fridge is there. Keep your lunch. Keep it labeled, okay? If it's not labeled, somebody will eat your lunch, okay? That's just okay. a fact. Okay. I'm broke, so it will probably be me. The two time. Um, this is the briefing room, okay? Anytime we, anytime uh, shift one, there's a shift one and a shift three meeting. Uh, shift two, we are the in-betweeners. We, ha we try to have a meeting once a week on a Tuesday. Probably not happening today due to Academy. Crap. Yep. Oh, and we don't have one left. Oh. That's okay. Right oh. now? Do right now? No, no. I, I, oh. I, I, unless the chief wants to overwrite Lost me there, long. that will, for, that for will eat into this and I'm, we are trying to make up some lost time. Um, debriefs yeah. happen here. Let's say a massive shootout happens and we're trying to understand what started it, where it led, what happened. Big debrief. Um, we, uh, interviews me. Okay. Um, anybody here raise their hand if you know what that is? That's my Oshigura. Yeah, that's a... What is it? A tw what are they, a thousand-year-old? Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, yeah, that's Gawagura. Gawagura, yeah. how do you say it? G Gabagool, isn't that from The Sopranos? She's pretty. Sure. I'm not going to comment she on that. She's a shark. Yeah. That's <laughs> Okay, um, let's head it back down to the motor pool, and we are probably going to get motor and get the fuck out of here. Uh, grab uh, snacks and water if you can afford. Yeah. Yeah, um, oh. let me pull up my Crown Vic. Leah got us some Yo, food. pull up. Um, if needed, I'm going to go just buy somewhere. Yep. Yeah. A okay, five cadets. How do we want to keep the numbers? Um. Yep. Oh, yeah, brother. Five cadets. How do we want to keep Hello? the CVPI numbers? What? Dude, is that a fucking bird? Hey, get his mask off. He's a chicken. He was uh, pronounced a chicken, I guess. That's a vulture's head. What the hell? I don't hell? know. I, I, I'm not a veterinarian. How do we, uh, there's five cadets. How do we want to keep the CVPIs? One each or? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, three CVPIs. All right. I purchased like five engines yesterday. Yeah, I saw. I've got it. There's no, there's. I think I worked it out. There's another three Z, three CVPIs. There's like five Tauruses. What the hell? What happened to this guy? <laughs> oh, that's Slack. Ah, uh, that's unmarked. I will. That that is unmarked, but the most obvious thing I've ever seen. Same. That's what I thought too. That is not UC. That's that's a a yo the fuck twelve go. I'm a cop, and if that slow rolled me, uh, I'd be nervous. Nope, 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 nope. nope. <clears throat> you gotta warrant that. You gotta warrant that. Radio check. You're looking for the the. Ten two. The vapid. You know, it looks like an old school cop car. You know, like the, the ones at the top. Yeah. Uh, any cadets that don't have vehicles, can you come to the motor pool? We need to take three vehicles. Cool. There you go. Excellent. 
On my way. Okay, once you're in, um, head up to the uh, upper parking. Yes, sir. And just wait there. Oh, oh my god. Holy like shit. I can't believe this. That's some healthy competition. First injury of Academy. Yeah. There it is. I don't think we've had an injury in the motor pool I don't like yet. You. Right Whoa. together up there, actually. Damn! Oh, okay. <laughs> to I God, God! Now. I like you now. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I I'll take these. Apologize. I am going to take a brief moment and uh, meditate. <laughs> what do we need? Oh, do we need another vehicle? They have two up there. Okay, yeah, how about you put her in the car and jump in the car with her and take that up top? Okay. How, how many yes. CVPIs are up the top? Yeah, one. Mind. That's the only one they've taken out so far. Two up there. No, I didn't see anybody take one out. We're on yeah, seven. five. We're on. Oh, I get seven. We've always been on seven. We've always been on seven. Sorry, Who's that? Okay, I'm not good. going to run you over. Don't worry. Oh. Nice, good. I'm glad. I'd yeah. fire you. You're welcome. Well, okay. Well, don't fire. You didn't fire this one. Oh my god, Alex, Ron? I don't know. Y'all pick which one you want. Just let me know. Alright, so the ones near the top. Just any of them? Well, hopefully it says stored. Take one that says stored. I'm gonna go and quickly refuel the SIF car that we're using. It looks like speeding. I'm not, I'm not. One thing I want you to automatically start getting in the habit of, the second you leave your cop car on any scene, or if you're going to go wipe your fucking ass or go buy a fucking burger, lock your car the second you leave it. Yes, sir. If you're getting out for a foot bail, lock your car. If you're doing anything, if you step out of your car, lock it immediately. Okay. Yes, sir. My bad. I might give him just five minutes to breathe a little bit. Oh yeah. Hi. Lot. You're gonna need it. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I know. Yeah. How did I have? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! There are people at the front door. Oh no! What are you? We got social anxiety. I just yes. see a green. I have a green suit. Uh, is this everybody? One, two, three, four, five. Where is? Uh, Declan, what's your twenty, brother? Just got gas. I'm uh around Elgin. Just waiting to see if you guys are moving out or whatever. Oh, yeah, we're gonna get moving now. Um, Bay, you want to meet us at um? Me to drive anybody? I got a scout. No, we're good. We uh, we have everyone in cars. We're we're grand. Have we got food? Or are we just going straight get there? Us just a few more meals, um, and then I'll okay. We'll we'll hold up. All right, ten four. Is there a way to turn down radio volume? Yes, it's on your radio. If you take your radio out, you'll see the buttons on the bottom right. Thank you. No problem. Is, is there like static on radio? No. no. Okay. Also, something that I think a lot of people don't know is 
you can set the radio to only um, function in one of your ears. Just, just to keep that in mind. All right, um, uh, go code two. Do you guys know how to do that? No. Okay. Code two is lights on. Just gonna uh, see on the dashboard there. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a. Can you hit the Q button? Yep. There we go. Boom. All right. All right. Uh, let's try. Keep it at two, about sixty or so, before we hit the highway. Okay. Pro boys, nice. Oh man. I am letting bones take take the fucking wheel tomorrow. Academies melt my brain. It's not even that, it's just a lot of talking. Like, when I'm, when I'm at least like, r routine patrolling and shit like that. Uh, bump it up to about 80. I'm at least like, uh... There's a break between like, talking and just like, pursuing, you know, interrogation, blah blah, but what this is just like... Oh yeah, when it's too many cadets, man, it's just like, bro, I lose the, I just lose it very quickly. Yeah. Trying to pit me back there. No. Sir. Good. I still to this day, r driving Route 68 is my favorite road to drive on. It looks so nice, and I love Route 68. Um, I always feel like it's set up in a way where you you should never have to break unless a local somehow does some dumb shit. Here, we're taking the Royal pair. Slowed down a lot. My apologies. And you're gonna go to the northwesternly Forder hangar. Oh, 
I found a busted fucking car, McNulty. Is it 20? I'm bringing it onto the airstrip. You know what I've noticed? Has anyone noticed that there's... A, I've noticed that there's a new car that's hit the streets. It's like a, um... It's got a real square arse and a big fucking spoiler. It's usually orange, driven by locals. What the hell? We're in the middle of a storm. Be advised, fucking notification. It's just, it's just it's weather. Why? What's gonna happen? It's just rain. Oh, you weren't here. Oh, yeah, it's just. Storm. Uh, you're you gonna get thrown around. You mean thrown around? It's rain. Oh, it's no. Uh, it's gonna get worse. Throw up. Is that a Bentley? Oh, oh my God! Oh no! Sticks well, but heavy. Hold on. There, I feel like back in my old city, there was a car sort of like this. I can't fucking remember what it was called. You went to Bentley? Yeah, the uh, the Cullinan. Yep. Almost identical to it. Yep. Fast it go. Yeah, I mean, this is a local without a turbo, right? Oh, good point. I thought that phone was a fucking Amber Alert. Uh, where did you guys go? I work coming. Got good start acceleration. Imagine a mid or high range turbo. It's no, gonna be gross. Hey, keep this, keep this to yourself. How about that? How about that? <laughs> like a 90 millimeter <laughs> turbo. <laughs> Holy fuck! Good luck. Okay. Um, do we want to give them five minutes just to breathe, or just... I think they're cool. They're just, they're ready. Uh, where do we want to start? Well, uh, we can either do scenarios, or we can go straight into, um, uh, traffic stops, or we can do firearm training. It's up to us to mold how we want it to be. Uh, Crane, you want to do firearm training, brother? Yeah, from I'm grabbing the scout. I'll be there in 30 seconds. All right, 10 I'll get him rolling over to the other side then. Uh, all right, everybody back in your cars. Follow me. Shit. Bates are still here. Alright, let's get you all uh, lined up uh, where I'm currently standing, facing car side. Alright, uh, we're going to have Senior Officer Crane uh, run you through firearms training. Now, there, again, there's something I want to talk about with your weapons license. That weapons license can only be used to purchase PD firearms. If we found out that you have purchased a civilian firearm with it, you will be fired on the spot. No questions asked. Understood? Yes, yes sir. sir. Hi. Yeah, uh, so to piggyback on what McNulty just said, uh, civilian firearms licenses are separate from your PD-issued firearms license. 
Uh, you will notice that some police officers or some individuals who work uh, for the PD will have two licenses for firearms licenses. That is to symbolize they have applied for and paid for a civilian license as well as their PD license. Uh, that being said, we're here to learn about firearm safety and your PD firearms for now. Uh, on the range, which is behind you where those uh, plates are set up on the bleachers, is where you're going to be using your firearm. At no point when you are on the range are you going to fire without being directed to. At no point are you going to point your gun anywhere but downrange. If you point your gun at each other, if you point your gun, you know, straight up in the air or anything like that, um, well, just don't fucking do that, okay? Now, uh, does anyone know, uh, where we shoot when we are shooting a suspect? Yep, Gail. Uh, that'll be a center of Speak mass, up. sir. Speak up, you gotta yell at Stormin. <clears throat> yes, sir, uh, that'll be center of mass, sir. Correct. Um, the SOPs state that when we are firing at someone with lethal, we shoot center mass. Uh, that is the reality. Um, now, you know, if the recoil kicks up and you happen to hit someone in the head who's charging at you with a knife or a wrench, yeah. it is what it is. Uh, you center know, mask, guys, you heard that. by 12 than carried by 6, but I digress. What if I'm really good at Valorant, sir? No. Well, then you're just sad, and you need to question your life and happiness. Our, our job is not to be the best tactical SWAT team possible. Our job is to be police officers, okay? We shoot at center mass, that's what our training is, that's where our SOPs are, and we follow our training and SOPs. Now, does everyone have uh, a magazine loaded into their firearm? Yep. Yes, sir. Yep. Okay, let's yep. ensure that by going back here to the range. Turning around and turning around. Oh, I don't want to pull it. Hey, Mel, Mel's like a witch. Okay, cool. stand on the line. Thank you. You're gonna line up in front of one of these armored plates that are on the bleachers. So just line yourself up with one of them. But what if you get a pog okay. shot? Let's have everyone draw their firearm. You are not gonna point it. You are just going to draw it. That's a baton, Turtle. I want you to cycle your magazines so that you have a fresh magazine in your Glock. Do that now. I don't, don't have vests on. It'll be all right. Okay, now that Let's everyone has a fresh magazine in their Jeff. Glock, I'm going die. to give you commands related to your training. You are not going to fire at this time. You are only going to follow the directions. This is a simulated exercise. So, when we call for it, we will call you to draw and then aim. So you're going to aim at your target. Do that now. Shift three to do a really cool gun exercise. We should do it. Okay, I want you to toggle on your flashlights. Do that now. Oh. If you're unaware how to do that, you can just ease into it. You'll figure it out. Okay, good. Flashlights off. Okay, holster your weapons. Okay, so without the firing, that will be approximately the order of operations, all right? You're gonna pull out your gun when I tell you, you're going to load a fresh magazine, you're gonna wait for the command to aim, you are then going to empty that magazine into your target, which is the ballistic plate in front of you, with your flashlight active. When you are done shooting, you are going to disengage the flashlight, and you are going to holster your weapon. You are not going to reload a fresh mag, you understand? Yes, sir. How many bullets yeah. should be in the magazine? These are 12 round magazines. Okay, secondly, I do not see any sight. I might have to adjust. You don't see any what? Sight? Uh, what do you mean sight? There should be iron sights on your Glock? Yes, I do not see the iron sight. Okay, uh, you should think about having problems figuring out the iron sights and how to line them up you can just think about oh, my belt Big water. under 
Understood? All right. I have to reload my magazine. Yeah, you'll do that before you fire, as I said. It's not full, sorry. That's what I meant. Okay, yes. Load your magazines now if they're not full. Weapons holstered. Okay. So the commands are going to be draw, aim, fire, and then you are going to do the flashlight disengage and holster at the end when your magazine is empty. Draw. Cycle magazine. Aim. Range is hot. Commence firing. Holster weapons. Okay, range is cold. Fuck you, armor blade. Can I ask you something? Sorry, what? Yeah. What were you shooting at? That one right there? That's not. All right, let's, let's try to just a little more, you know, steady pace on the trigger, okay? You're kind of over the place. My oh god, they're on together. All right, reload a magazine. Let's try this again. I don't think any of us in the magazine is high enough. Gently squeeze the trigger. Uh, I do, of course, I do when I'm shooting. Right, right. All right, everybody, draw. So, shift three, do this Aim. thing where they give the plates uh, a letter. So, like A, B, C, D, E, F. And then they'll go A3, C4, D5, and that's how many bullets you have to put into those paints. It's pretty cool. That doesn't make 12, though. Right, it doesn't. Holster and weapons. then they say at the end, how many did you fire? And everyone goes, uh, All right, uh, good. Uh, good work. Everybody circle up. Okay, so number one thing about all of this with firearms training, um, you are cadets, it is going to be 99% of the time up to the discretion of a scene lead or commanding officer to dictate when are you are going to be using lethal. Uh, there are some very basic scenarios and escalation, you know, matrices in the SOPs that you should be familiar with. If you are not, please make sure you are familiar with them. One of the most crucial things on this job is knowing when you should use lethal and when you should not and being willing to do so when ordered. We will not tolerate anyone responding to orders about, you know, use lethal or, you know, put down the target with questions like, are you sure? Or wait, are we allowed to shoot? Or things like that. If someone orders you to shoot someone, then you do it. If someone orders you to baton someone, then you do it. That is why we have a chain of command. Any questions on that? No, sir. No, no sir. No, I will All shoot right. when ordered. Good. All right, I think we're good on firearms. If you have any questions about firearms in general, any training, if you want range time, anything like that, feel free to talk he to an MPO and I'm tie. sure we'll be happy to help you. What's up awesome. next? Uh, pop, uh, traffic stops, I believe. Yeah, let's do the basic traffic stop. Uh, also, so Williams, I think the, the wind must have taken your tie off, brother. Oh. Ooh. It's pretty windy. Oh. 
Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he needs some hey, We don't make fun of wide necks, okay? That's right. All right, back to the original spot just outside the uh, northwesterly hangar. Uh, do we want to use the um, Glennon? Use the red car. I got yeah. the, I got the gear on too. Step four. Uh, Baywetter, here, here. What's your what's your twenty? Uh, still see your but we're we're getting like fifteen combos and it's taking a while. Um, we're almost done though. Promise. <laughs> um. Can I can I check with you and Dick? Hey, we're of course. Decided. Before we do traffic stops, do you want to do radar real quick? Yeah, we'll yeah, be so on our Hold on. Um, so firearm training, we should have included tasers, and that's when we also take out our our lights and pick up stuff. We kind of combine that all together. So oh, we haven't done do tasers. Together? Yeah, usually do firearm, tasers, and pick up the evidence. Oh, yeah, we can we'll go through that. Yeah. I, I, I guess. don't even mind if we just quickly do it in here, and then, yeah, right. uh, then it's all done. Yeah, like I said, if we... Um, all right, everybody, follow us into uh, inside the hangar. Don't worry about the cars for now. Let's get out of the rain. Holy, holy shit! It is so fucking bright. Ah! It's so loud. It is. Why is that so bright? Is that just me? It's always. Loud. It looks like the world's fucking ending out there. I'll look this way. Um, I'll tell you what, I uh, oh, hate to be oh, stuck I in the sewers tonight. All right, oh, everybody, uh, get in a tight circle around me, cadets only. Okay. Yes, oh. sir. <laughs> Should have seen this on the internet in some place. Terrible. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do um, is we're going to focus on. It's so quiet. Do you think if you put a a chicken, right, in a, in a tumble dryer, right? Right, a, ch a chicken from the barrio? Wrong. What? No, not a chica, a chicken. The handle foot pursuits are as follows. No, the barrio has chickens. Tasers are to be used once you have through through them? No, I don't go on the ground. To cuff the suspect they've they got their own, they've got cuff. free range chickens so in the barrio. Yeah, so if, if you, so you can pick them up and you, give you them a cuddle. If you put you that in a tumble dryer and fill it full of gasoline, and light it on fire and turn the tumble machine on, right? What the hell? Is that a rotisserie chicken? No, that's getting your your throat slit by Tessa. What? Because I cooked the chicken? You didn't tell me that it... I mean... Oh, it's dead in the scenario. Oh, okay. Is that technically a rotisserie chicken? I don't know. I'm not going to eat it. Why not? How foot bales work when it comes it's not a halal to snack gasoline? pack. Anything like that? Gasoline. Okay. I mean, one taser per suspect. You barbecue a gas. Means is that if there is a bailout and four people get out of a car and you are chasing after a suspect that's let's say the primary from the robbery or cash exchange or whatever it was that we think has the money on them, you do not have four cops chasing after someone with their tasers out. There are very good reasons for this. For example, if the person runs around a corner and you guys all have your tasers out and they bought a submachine gun, you're all fucking dead. So, the primary on each suspect will hold a taser. The secondary on each suspect in the foot bail will hold lethal. This is very important for you guys to communicate, not just for the suspects, but for each other. So during a foot bail, let's say Turgle is the suspect and Gray is chasing with taser, I will pull lethal, and then I will communicate over radio to Gray. Gray, I've got your lethal. Or Gray, I'm holding lethal. You know, things like that, right? This means that there's safety for the officer doing the foot bail. <laughs> now, if you are alone and you are chasing a suspect... It's you raining, we think. Foot, you do not pull a taser. I'm going to repeat this. You do not pull a taser. You can, you know... If you're once you're an experienced officer and you're promoted and you let's say you know that suspect and they've never attacked a cop 
and you know them to be a very non-violent person, then maybe you can pull a taser in a solo foot bail. But if you are at even 1% you know, unsure about them being violent or willing to use violence, you always keep your lethal out because it is very likely that they will know there is one person chasing them. They will run around a corner and pull a gun or a knife or a wrench, and then you're just done. Okay. Any questions about foot bales and tasers? Okay. So I want you all to aim your taser at me. I am going to count down one, two, three. Feels like a fetish. Fire. When I say fire, you're going to fire. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's going to slump. No. Ain't no way he's going to slump. Two. Are you sure? Three. Fire. I thought he was going to uh, slump. Uh, 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 uh. Good. No. <laughs> now, Close. is everyone picking? Is everyone paying, <laughs> everyone paying no. attention and understanding the fact that in this scenario, okay, how long I was tased? Yes. This is important because when you tase a suspect, you will have time to go over and try to cuff them. It is imperative that we all understand that the person who tases the suspect by default is the person who goes for cuffs. The other person should be holding lethal as we've already discussed. Now, if this is not clear and you are unclear on this SOP and you're in the field and someone I remember gets to three of you run in to cuff them. Number one, you might cuff each other. Number two, you might end up both backing off then awkwardly and then the person is not even, there's no attempt to apprehend them. Oh. And they just get up and run away. And number three, you open yourself Here up I am, to outside Twitch forces, streamer, or former chef, pretending to be a so cop, very important that pretending you to train other people so they can pretend to be the cops. Who tases the suspect, you go for what cops. a life, huh? This is much like, um, I don't know, fucking whatever sport Americans like. I just read manga, but like baseball Shootings. or volleyball or whatever it is, right? Uh, you call the ball, okay? So if the default is not what's going on, meaning the person who did the tase falls over, maybe they get tackled by another suspect, then call the ball, say, I'm gonna go for cuffs, or I got it, or going for cuffs. That's why we vocalize everything, not just for the suspects, but for ourselves as well as a team, okay? Understood. Now, yes, sir. Does anyone see anything wrong with the formation you guys are in? Correct. So for example, if I order you guys to fire and then do something like that, <laughs> you're all gonna tase each other, okay? So whenever you are holding lethal, especially on a suspect, whether it is a stationary position like a bank or a hostage negotiation or a dynamic situation like a foot bail, you always need to be aware of what you're pointing your gun at. If you're sitting there and you're behind the officer and they're going for cuffs and you're pointing a gun at their back, you're in the wrong position. You need to move. Same thing for taser, same thing for anything, okay? Always be aware of what's around you, who's in your line of fire. A lot of these situations, you're going to roll up and there's going to be like four cop cars already there. The with their sun will out. come and out. If you roll up on the other side of the suspect and don't think and just get out of your car and aim your gun, you're probably getting shot when the order gets called out to fire, okay? So try to keep all that in mind. Anything yes, uh, you want to add there? Nope. Cool. Oh, I, I will add one thing, though. You do have time to go cuff, but realistically, you have time to reload your taser and cuff. Mm -hmm. like you do yeah, that is the other thing. Yeah. That's actually a good point. I forgot oh about that. Um, no, that's good. All right. no fighting. When, when, you, when you tase someone... It is it is important to like be mindful of your you know your taser cartridges right. So as McNulty aptly pointed out, you might think about reloading your cartridge if you know you're going to be out right. Especially in a situation where someone's like, you know, about to get like into a car or on a motorcycle. Because if if they break cuffs, you're not going to then be able to like reload your taser and try to detain them again. So think about that. Um, it's a lot to think about in the moment, but just try to compose yourself and keep yourself aware. Okay, let's uh, everyone pull out your flashlights. Wow. So go ahead and look at the wow. ground here. Um, so I, I'm going to be very clear about this, okay? The letters on these oh. um, evidence placards are not uh, always corresponding to what the piece of evidence <laughs> may be that the you're mob. collecting. 
Stop picking them up. And they're gone. So. <laughs> My when... sincere Oopsie. apologies. <clears throat> yeah. So when you see a piece of evidence on the ground, hold on. So when you see a piece of evidence on the ground, it is color coded, okay? So there are casings, there are projectiles, and there is like, um, you know, blood evidence, right? So the pools of blood, you know, are always going to be red. Everybody's crazy, on right? that. Uh, and then the casings and projectiles, you'll, you know, you'll see them on the ground. Just be spent brass, you know, it might be like a prong of a taser, whatever it is. Okay, color, descriptions, anything? Uh, one white male wearing all black and two females, one blonde, one white hair, off bluish car. That's all I got for you. I'm sorry. You want an extra I'm going to need it, yeah. There's still an, an EMS on scene. Happy 276. I hear Decker. And they, they got their boys out, right? I have 976 to MRPD with one 1095. Hold your comms. Hold your comms. Did they, did they get their friend out? Oh, I'm listening. Yeah, they got them both. Me too. Uh, we can run over and head back. Did they go in up. again? Sorry, it just sounds like it might be Decker. We got three FTOs if we want to go back them up. Did they go north or south? Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't see they had me. Hey, help, uh, help Crane. Uh, we're going to go back up to 78. One, two, three. York and I are coming to back you guys up. We're, we're good. We're good. They already left them. We're good. Oh. You sure? For cleanup or anything? You okay? No, we're good. They already left the officers on the scene. They were just getting their friends out. We're good. Jesus Christ. Let's stay on channel. Uh, yeah. On fire and Penzona are on their way. Myself is on the way, and then two other people are going to Mission Road to Process. Is it just guys, me, so or are Tuesdays really low on units? I'm noticing a recording thing every Tuesday. EMS, if you, if, uh, you, you don't yes. feel safe right now, you can't pull out and just um, leave them there unless you're treating them right now, which I depends. recommend you they're, don't. They're long gone. They're, they're, not they're long gone? Okay. No, last Thursday, there was so much okay, going on, we didn't get a chance to have a meeting. More additional for that? Yeah, go to El Rancho. Oh, yeah. It was just an insane night. Uh, we should get them to cuff each other, too. Um, yeah. As much evidence as is required, okay? In the field, yes, when you pick up a piece of oh, evidence, you are just picking up a sprint casing or a, you know, cartridge or let's cigarettes. say uh, the actual projectile from a bullet. So... Back to Mission Row, you need to tell us, like, as soon as you get there. Oh, game four. Currently southbound Los Santos Freeway and approaching uh, town. We're passing by with both currently. Is anybody on scene of El Rancho? I'm almost there from this county. <laughs> All right, 160 is uh, 23. Were there officers in the county? Oh, they left money here. I'm, uh, good six round. I'm uh, just stationed up on the roof for now. All right, we need to get people watching the hospital for these guys. Honestly, uh, whoever's this motor unit, just stick with me. We should be good, just two of us, and then okay. whoever else is on fire or anything, you guys head to the hospital. I mean, I guess you do have what again? five FTOs. Well, bait. I mean, I'm going to use common sense here and say one of them was definitely Caucasian, black hat, black mask, like black bandana, wearing like a black tight top, black business pants. EMS, you got the description of the others? Uh, I only knew a, a female with white hair, a female with blonde hair. I treated somebody in like a salmon pink tracksuit kind of deal, and that's all I really remember. I'm sorry. So the people that took them were two were two women, one blonde, one white hair. Hey, firm. Hey, Ben. 
What it do, baby? I'll look out on Palomino Freeway. Make sure we're hey, out. lads, how's the day treating you? Hey, Thug. I'm at the hospital, but I don't want to go inside. Hello, Hello whoever that is. Hello? Again. What's up? Yeah. How's the day treating you? Oh, no, no, no. Terrible. Terrible? What happened? You ruined my life. What? You ruined your life? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Alright, uh. Either the scout or bike, one of you guys document the scene. I'm gonna check, make sure they didn't. Use you give a there. guy a couple of felonies and raid his properties, and all of a sudden, you're the bad guy. I believe we're looking for, uh, it's gonna be two injured males. One's gonna be wearing, uh, like a salmon pink shirt, like was said earlier, and then the other one's gonna be wearing, like, a very light gray or a white sweatshirt. Both, the uh, same sweatshirts, just different colors. Can you... Can you J turn? Can you 360 this thing? Whoa. Yeah, you can, but. Can you check? 10 2. 10 -two. Huh. Status? Uh, I was looking at my GPS, and then I stopped looking at my GPS, and now I'm in the ocean under the sewers. <laughs> nice. I don't know what the fuck happened. When did you have been monitoring? Okay, take, I'm swap back seven. Nap, um, let's go ahead and get Avery uncuffed, please, Gail. Oh, my apologies. Sorry, I thought I did that for a You did it once. Ah, uh, uh, perfect. All right, yeah, my apologies. Now, uh, there you, go. you know how to grab her by the arm, Gail? Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, indeed. Focus. All right, well, I am as going an, to... Uh, I wonder who they are a little different than here. other people, you know? So go ahead and do it like an offshore. Right, perfect. there you go. Okay. Um, so one thing I'm going to make bones. very clear to everyone. There are... There is another thing, um... Another, um... What was the call? Another ability that you may possess as a police officer, um, it, which is to fingerprint someone, right? We get trained on how to, you know, use the ink or even a digital scanner. Oh my god, the academies melt my brain. I'm going to say this very clearly for you right now. You do not have a mobile digital fingerprint scanner. If you are in the field and you arrest someone and they do not have an ID on them, you are not able to discern who that person is 100% until you get back to MRPD. Is everyone clear on that? Yes, sir. If, if you encounter a suspect in the field that does not have an ID and you start telling us that you know 100% who it is, that's not going to be good for you. So please remember, we do not have mobile digital fingerprint scanners. You are only able to 100% fingerprint someone when you are at MRPD. Same thing goes for running their DNA, okay? DNA is done with a swab kit. It is done in one place at MRPD, where you get them from. They are not to be taken outside of MRPD. You do not run people's DNA outside of MRPD. Yes, right. sir. Good. All righty. Um, you want to uh, get with someone and frisk them and search them? Yeah, let's just have you guys pair up. Let's have Avery right. go with Gail because we're odd numbers. Oh. All right, perfect. Let's go with the end. Uh, or sure, yeah, that works. Whatever. Yeah, yeah just. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Hi. Okay. Hey there. So, again, guys, we're gonna vocalize, okay? So when you're gonna frisk someone, you're gonna order them to face away from you. You're going to have them either, if it's consensual and they're not detained, just put their hands up. If they are detained, they will be in cuffs. And then you are going to warn them, all right, sir or ma'am, I am going to be 
uh basically just giving you a pat down to ensure you don't uh, have all right chat uh, any, uh gregory know, conklin on you and then interview you them, is locked is there anything in. on you that i need to know about any weapons explosives tuesday. Drugs, things like that fucking right? tuesday then the 14th pat them down and go ahead and do that now yeah i should know at that the I start of shift two of, uh, 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 weapons on me yes i do Uh, actually, no, that you're not sharp, but they sh do shoot sharp objects. I should say that. And once you are articulated, they have a bulge on them. You will then vocalize them, sir or ma'am. I feel a large bulge on your person. What what would that be? And then they will, you know, inform you. Sometimes they will lie. Sometimes they will make a dick joke. It's going to happen, so get used to it. A little bit of What's his Elsie? voice? Gregory Quiglin? Or his Stacey's. Hold on, I feel like sometimes I lose it. He's way more in the bag. Quink Gregory Quiglin? Hold on, I feel like sometimes I lose it. Until you do not feel any bulges and you are or in Stacey's. Uh, Gregory. Well, I mean, sometimes I feel like uh, Greg's. Oh, I feel like sometimes I lose well, it. Well, once you frisk them and you feel. Oh my God! Are those already slices? Is that and it? And then you will search them and just grab that item. I've got a gun. Oh. <laughs> now, I feel like sometimes if I don't do it, I'm like. Right now, we could be here all day if you remove every single thing that causes a bulge to appear in a frisk, right? This is just an exercise for you guys to understand the procedure because. We have different rights legally when it comes to frisking versus fully searching. It is very important to be aware of those rights, okay? If you show up on a scene and you have True, the I do a better job of punk than after I've had a fucking shaky fucking be, few, pal. You should only be doing that procedure. Now, that being said, when you repeat that process, okay, over and over, frisking and removing items, if one of them is you know, chat, or illegal, it's taken me a while that person to realize arrest. Where so I've learned Gregory Conklin's voice, and I realized it's it's we are then fucking. Going to either cuff them if they are not already cuffed, or we are going to then fully search them Seven if they are already right. cuffed. Does that make sense to everybody? Yes, sir. So if I frisk Frank, and Frank has a gun on him, and Frank does not have a weapons license. Frank is now under arrest. So I don't need to repeat. Tell me this isn't Gregory Conklin. To then discover let's say that frank has you know a bunch of marijuana on him i am legally able to fully search him because once i find the gun and he doesn't have a license he is under arrest that's probable cause oh uh, hello of course i'm gil faisal <laughs> i'm george st giglin this is a prank show <laughs> sipping coffee calls about wrong, what we remove and I when see. and all of that when that comes down to an active scene this is our prank show too much tuna this isn't the, is this is a prank show where we prank our guests by giving them too much tuna fish one of the great things is pranks today is a very special I'm, episode i'm damn sure great gregory coitlin i'm damn sure it's it's fucking is is gregory coitlin coitlin an old corfi is 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 Gregory Conklin an old Jewish man from New York? New York? Or <laughs> Gorfi? Is that is that where Gregory Conklin? Oh, cat underwear. There have been many classic episodes of Too Much Tuna, like the time we got Oliver Platt to prank Stanley Tucci. That was Too Much Tucci. Or the time we Skyped with that Sonny Sale. That makes the worst. <laughs> this episode is a classic, where we sat down and pranked Rita Director Paul Feig. Paul, you've led such an interesting first name. Tell us about yourself. Uh, well, I created a show called Freaks and Geeks. Oh, Freaky Freezes. That Fre was, that was oh. great. <laughs> you know what movie Whoa, 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 whoa. skinny. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stick crazy. The crazy? Stick the crazy. crazy. Oh, stick crazy, yeah, yeah. Did you direct that? No, I was, I was, I was 15 years old when that came out. <gasps> Did you direct Bullworth? Oh, um, no, I, I, I Bullworth. Bullworth was a very funny. No, I did not. Paul, turn. you know when you peel off a yogurt, they say little water on the top. Yeah. Maybe that could be a movie. <laughs> I could probably find some you know, film student, hungry film student, who would want to kind of get in that way. The facts of life. Walk me through the plot. Um, uh, the one I was in, I was actually it was a it was in the Cloris Leachman. Oh. oh. What is this? Nice. What? 
has um, happened here. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> so anyway, we I do it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Cloris Leachman and I was playing one of these two. Don't guys. ignore the elephant in the <laughs> room, Vig. <laughs> it's okay. Look down. Yeah, it's okay. So then it was about like. Uh, and Tootie was roller skating. But oh boy, what's in front of you? <laughs> Look at that right there. All right, well, I mean, that's, that's fine. Do we that's want, it's you fine? Want to try it do, you want to try it again? You'll bring it over and I'll be kind of like, Yeah, let's try it again. That's it's fine? Well, very interesting. Yeah. Thanks, I was kind of... <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, what is the meaning oh, of this? Oh, God, what's... what the hell? That's the biggest sandwich ever. Why would you no, possibly you know, serve me a giant sandwich like this? There's don't so many hungry people don't in the world. Don't Everybody on it. Channel 7. Don't placate us like this. Yep. Paper. <laughs> Paper. Spice it up, what? What? Wow, what are you doing? Don't disgrace the tuna. Hey, come on. Smile with a bit of a smirk. Whoa. Who's that guy? See? Who's that guy? Hey, Ruby. Hey, Why is his arm coming out of his head? <laughs> Whoa. We've upset Mr. Oh, I'm Pickles. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We've He's upset okay. Mr. Okay. Pickles. He's okay. Look, it's We've just a sandwich. We've upset Mr. Pickles. It's just a sandwich. All right, all right. Her Gorfi? <laughs> Darder? Oh, my God. Is that your Darder? <laughs> The best hey, episode yet. <laughs> it's the best episode yet. Oh my god, is that a cup of coffee? Hey everybody, so when we're doing a traffic stop, you want to stop. Everybody's going to set up the uh, display for you here. But you want to make sure the car is pointed this way towards the driver's side. You never want to put it on the opposite way that puts you at a weird angle. We have to walk in this space right here. Does anyone know what this space is called? The dead, the dead zone. zone. It's dead zone. Yeah, do not walk here at all at any point and or time. When you pull a car over, first thing you want to do is run the plate. You can run the plate there on your dashboard from the car. It'll give you any important information to know if you know this is just a regular traffic stop or a felony stop. Oh my god, is Once it a cup of- Once you've arrived and positioned yourself, you're gonna leave your lights on, but turn the sirens off. You're gonna call out over dispatch that you're in a traffic stop. You're gonna describe where you are, which direction you're there? facing, the Oops. description of the vehicle, and how many people are inside. I can't even see you in there. So for dispatch, example, he... I am the knight. Dispatch one, well, they call you the watcher. 38 southbound runway Zangudo. Oh yeah, you're gonna drop a turg uh, on those colors. criminals? Mm, two door occupied two times. Yeah. Yeah. Great. And then once you do that, you can get out of the car. But also, if you see what's happening right now with Bay. <laughs> yep. It's so. Make sure you articulate engine off, window down before walking up to the car. Back in the car, sir. If you guys can't hear um, what's going on, you can just come closer. Yeah, I was like, come closer, they're not on radio, y'all can. Stand on the, like, 6 4 up or whatever. Uh, key binds are automatically set for running the plate. Do you want to be at three here? Where would you want to conduct the traffic stop? Yeah, like the B, B pillar or some sort. A B pillar. Fuck exactly. Taylor That's Swift. You want to make sure that you're far enough back where you can see what's happening with everything inside. And then you want to just go ahead and uh, ask the. Go ahead, Ruby, and walk through what you do. You walk up. Yo, this is uh, Officer Ruby York with the LSPD. Can I have your license and registration, please? Now we. Thank you. Perfect. So when you ask for the license, this is very important. You want to make sure you actually get a physical copy of the license handed to you. Some people will just want to, you know. <laughs> I fucking knew he's going to call me. You don't want that. You want it in your I just want to say he's going to call me. McNulty. Go down to this poochie bitch. You won't. Roll down. Roll down. Roll down. Roll down. Roll down say it's out of my face. Roll down to this poochie. It's out of my face. What's your ping? Hey, you're talking you to Taylor Swift, my girl. What's your ping? My girl and I clack back and you ping? get upset. Huh? What's your ping? I ain't coming What's down there. Ping? I got shit to say, do. Hey, pussy. Pussy. How to piss off an entire nation. At this point, you take the ID, you run it through, you look up 
see if you know they have any priors, anything else like that. If you want to decide to write them a ticket, you write up the report. We'll go over report ready later. Thank you, Display. And then once you're done with that, you can just head back to the car. Too much information to read. This is your license, right? Yeah, that's me. There's your license back. Yo. Yeah. Yeah, Avery, you wanna take over? Uh, I was gonna let you get I mean, let him off with the warning. So basically you'd be like, uh so for example if you pulled him up for speeding, you'd be like, Alright, at this time we're gonna give you a ticket for speeding, it'll be second degree, you'll tell him what the fine is. Uh you will bill them for that. And then once you complete that, you hand them back their physical license. And you say, alright, you're free to go whenever you turn the lights off back at my car. Um, yeah, Ruby, you want to uh, the, those, of, those of you that are transferring from another state, um, what we want you to do is spend a little bit more time talking with them, you know, get their license, have a little chat with them, especially chat about what they did before doing the formalities of heading back to your car. You might see some shifty behavior inside, which could lead you to something more exciting. So uh, just uh, take your time. Don't rush through a traffic stop. They lead to cool stuff. And arrests. While, while, while they try to find something, uh, what... When you're looking at oh um, oh my god the new hell diver stuff looks good. For? What 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 are like the things that you're looking for? Okay. Anyone else? Uh, oh, Warren. Um, yep. If they've gotten tickets before, if they've been warned, if warrants is a good one. Yeah, it's good to articulate uh -oh. to them why you're doing things it's good to articulate to them what you're doing what the reasoning is behind it so for example a lot of time i'll walk up to people at a traffic stop introduce myself first is very important senior officer declan crane badge number 178 with the lspd how are you you know what's your name that sort of thing don't just walk up to someone's car and be like license and registration and then just stand there like a moron uh have a conversation with them when you do go ahead and run their information uh, oh my war bonds already i already got it give a preliminary sort of outlook right so oh it looks like you know you don't really have that many tickets or you don't have a big record or anything you know we could probably work something out here i just gotta make sure you don't have any active warrants or anything just since i'll be right bit with you right that being said if you then go back to your car and you decide all right this person doesn't have any tickets but uh they also you know are getting a warning from me Write it on their profile, say traffic warning issued this date, you know, Declan Crane 178. And then go back to them and say, hey, look, you know, I, I'm giving you a warning, but I want you to understand that I've also recorded that warning on your profile. So if you do something like this again, Child, I'm feeling sort of, lazy you know, and I want to eat a pizza, whatever it is uh, in the future, just know that you're going to get a ticket because the other officer is going to look at your profile and they're going to see that I've instructed them to give you a ticket because I give you a chance this time. Um, so it's I wonder what the odds are for tomorrow. People by showing oh, that, but Chad had so much carbs. And you can exhibit leniency, uh, but also firm with them by telling them what the consequences will be if they violate that, you know, fairness in the future. Mm -hmm. So a lot of it is just, you know, responding to their behavior and gauging each scene as it comes to you. Leah likes noodles. I like that you. your first message uh, sometimes as part of the custody community is. If you want to come up and mock that we're starting a traffic stop. Do it. <laughs> Shut the fuck up and give me a ticket. I don't fucking care. Do it now. Like, I don't care. Just, just I don't give, give me a, a fucking shit. ticket. Just fucking give me the ticket. I don't care. Fuck off. I don't, I don't do care. I do didn't ask. Okay. Do not didn't care. ask. Quick, didn't I just, ask. I just need the ID, please. That's, that's all I need. Yeah, so literally this will happen to you. It's happened to me, you know, in the past couple weeks multiple Aww. times. If someone doesn't want what to... What are the odds them, tomorrow? They're right. They have the right to remain silent. So if, you know, that's how they ask for the traffic stop to go, then, you know... You, you give the customer what they want, right? If they want the full fines in time with no chance at leniency because they want to be a dickhead, 
uh, then so be it. Get That's what thin get, crust. Right? That doesn't mean you stack charges on them. It doesn't mean you be unreasonable. I had pizza tonight. I regret it. Don't do it. See now, why am I only listening to bees out of all the voices if there? You are going to give them the harshest charges possible. It's just I'm feeling very lazy to tonight. Down very down, okay? fucking lazy. That will build you a lot of goodwill, and it will also let you explain to them like, hey. I could have pulled you over and given you nine points on your license and three thousand dollars in fines. Instead, I'm just going to say, pizza? "Hey, man, can you slow it down?" I don't know, man. Tow truck, those things are big and dangerous. Okay. Very, very simple and very effective at just building rapport with people. Just one because pizza. You introduce oh, yourself, I know. And then you give them leniency. The you have food that's going by in your fridge. No. Likely to stab you in an alleyway. So you know things add up. And um, I'm going to kind of circle back to what I was saying previously. Um, when you're, you know, when you got their information, you got their ID card, and you just pull up their profile. What my eyes? Yeah, but what if I had what a chat? What if I had like I don't know? That will be signified by them having a big burgers and fries last night. What if last night was my cheat day, and now I also want pizza today? Um, next you're gonna be looking for their licenses if they actually have a driver's license. We when we suspend a license, there they will receive a tag with license suspended they will also uh what you should be looking for is how many points do they have have they exceeded 21 points will their license be suspended um and yeah you can you can this check been easy i know i know it's them. not easy um, but i've been so good for like a week and a half and i had a burger sure and some fries last night and they were great looking at you know a profile that they have a license um yeah. And that they can drive. Check their profile. Yeah, yeah. Don't just assume they have everything and just go. Yeah. Hey, uh, do you want to pair up and we'll do some mock traffic stops here? Yee. Yeah. All right. Hey, uh, Frank and Aspen, you want to go first? Yeah. Sure. Make sure you have your radars up. Um, it's yeah, I have it up. Yeah, does everyone have their radar on in no, the car? Do does anyone know how to do that? You can do that. No. Yeah, you should have okay, hop yeah. in a car and just uh, on your dashboard, you know, just slash radar. Yeah, yeah you can Make sure on. you have that turned okay. on. Um, are you doing Wait, two you separate want? traffic stops? I'm... Uh, just stay there. I'm gonna speed just, uh, uh, past. Too. How do you turn your um, And then you pull you... me over and then... I think the number one. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. So oh, Fra Frank's too. car will go with the blue car. The other two units go with the red car, please. Uh, Jericho, hold up. Three people radio. want to jump in. One car. Red car. Uh, uh, the two units going with the red car go on channel eight. Do you want the blue car to stay on this channel? Hey, firm. Thank you. Radio check. Wrong freak. She said Four, eight, what, right? Nope. What, uh, what call sign do you want us to use for the time? Seven. She did. What? Make one up. Okay. Just 100 Damn something. One. Yeah. What, so, did she not say red car? Uh, for convenience. Uh, is, I think, a 38 eastbound Fort Zapruder Road. Blue you want colors, three and one, Ruby? Uh, I'm at high rate speeds. Um, now, there's going to be two, two with this. the red car. Two on blue. One of them, 38 westbound. There's only Fort one Scooter car down road, there. Blue and colored Dominator occupied two there's times. There's only three CVPIs, remember? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So Turgle will go and attach to the red on channel 8. Oh, uh, okay. Unless, uh, McNulty, you want to find another car. What, and give a Turgle one? Sure. No, if you want to find a criminal car, and I'll jump in with Turgle. Sure. Channel 8, check. And two. Okay. Why is this bumped? Ron Colon. That's new.
What uh, what channel do we want to use? No. She's yeah. a sixty percenter. That's why. Ew. Uh, do, uh, Ew. You're cute. gross. Disgust me. Ugh. And you play Valorant? No, I don't play Valorant. It was a joke. Okay, channel nine. Sixty percenter and a liar. Oof. All right, come on. So, so usually what I do is. Sick Miata, dude. I I cannot function in no pixel without a numpad. I cannot function. Ready to check? Yeah, well, we're on our way any second now. Ooh, this thing does not like being in second gear. Let's do that. Okay, and you're going to say, I don't know if you if you know your megaphone button, <laughs> but you're going to uh, I do not. Sir, uh, turn off your engine and wind down your window. No. Windows down. No. Uh, engine yeah. off, please. I to go to work. No. I hope each and every one of you shitters has do an it. extremely wonderful rest please. of your time zone. Oh, please? Oh, sure. Do it now. I already have. Now okay, we're gonna call over the radio. Peter, you're the fucking worst. We're gonna say dispatch, and we'll just Ain't say your number is 100. Dispatch legit, 100, legit, bees, just the 10, actual. 38 <laughs> eastbound Fort Zancudo approach with a blue and colored two door occupied one times. It's a lot. Yeah, okay. Uh, you're gonna have to okay, so, to say it. So, first of all, you're gonna say dispatch 100. That's like, hey, dispatch, it's me. Uh, dispatch 100. 1038. That means we're in a traffic 1038. Stop. And then you're gonna say we're eastbound Fort Zancudo approach with a blue two door. Or eastbound Zancudo, Fort Zancudo, uh, approach with a blue two door. What the? It was that. Where the fuck did that come from? Let's get out. Let's go. Let's flare begin. Fuck. Bro. Uh, 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 hey there. I'm Cadet Turgle with the LSPD badge number. I don't know. Behind. Can I have your license and your registration, please? Uh, sure. Um, who are you? What is your name again? Cadet Turgle. And what am I doing? You are providing me with your license and registration. Why? What did I do? You were speeding. How fast was I going? Fast er than the speed limit, like 200 or something. Well, that I was not going 200 miles per hour. Yeah. Is your radar's not broken cuz I was only going like 
50 well, miles I'm or the so. one with the radar here. Okay, I can what, go what, check. You uh, want sure, me? yes, please. But I'll still need your license. Uh, I want, well, I want you to see if you actually can pull me over legally before I hand over my license, so. You, you Sir, can pull them over. I can still pull you over. For even, what? You know, for even. what? For I need your license right oh, now. Give it. Hell. Behind. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It looks pretty. Uh, but... uh, uh. That's a great license that you're flashing yeah. at me, but I'm going to yeah. need you to hand it to me physically. <sighs> still looks good. Ah. Uh. Thank you. Fantastic. Why is that there? Uh, you know, uh, thank you. Uh, I know it's been a long day. You know, can't wait to end my shift and go play Stardew. <laughs> hey, turn this engine on. What are you going to say? Hey, turn your engine off. Oh, sorry. Sorry. You bored me. You can tell him to stay there while you go check. His I was. I said I can't wait to get my shift over with so I can go play Stardew. What is that? Stardew and your mom. <laughs> All right, sit tight. I'm gonna go run your can license. I dapper for that? My partner here. Is that even That's, a joke? That is conduct unbecoming of an officer. Is that a joke? I don't. Is that? Some, uh, why? Is that why is there a note on the ground that says behind? Because. <sighs> I have a feeling. that those things remember once we came out here and there's a lot of cars lined up yeah i think they're on a schedule uh, uh, ruby officer ruby yeah can you uh help me uh yeah, so over the radio how do i run this id Jesus Christ, I went right in my fucking retinas, dude. It's starting to get warm. Yeah. It's starting to get fucking warm. It's not too bad, but it's... It, you sometimes forget how much fucking heat your PC generates, dude. Well, well, well. Look who finally fucking decided to show up. Fuck the canes. Fuck the. <laughs> Fuckers, dude. I hate that. <laughs> that. <laughs> not, uh, not happy with that result, no? Dude, it's so dog shit. These guys don't know how to play a power play, I'll tell you that much. You know who does the fucking Oilers? Oilers power plays are fucking scary. How's the academy going? Good. Uh, good. I'd say good so far. What are, what are we working on? Traffic stop. Uh, traffic stops. Gone over firearm training. Just the kind of usual suspects. Hello. Oh, sir, uh, unfortunately, your record is squeaky clean, and so due to this, yeah, I'm just gonna, uh, you know, let you off with a warning. Oh, and sick. Here's your, here's your license back. Thanks. And uh, you can leave when I turn my lights off, all right? Or just leave now.
Dispatch 100, traffic clear. I'm gonna roll it again. We need to find you. Sure. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, dispatch 100, active 1080 westbound, Zancudo. I don't know. <laughs> Patch 100 VCB. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Having a nice cigarette? Yeah. Chase this guy. He's being reckless in this truck. The hell did I just hear? Uh, dispatch 110.80 westbound Fort St. Kudo. Minority report. In a giant America truck. Oh. You turn so. Man, the, the Rangers are slapping the fucking canes, bro. Uh, he, dispatch 100. He's driving res recklessly. Northbound, Fort St. Kudo. He's swerving and zigzagging. As a sad Devils fan. Yo, pull over. We're doing traffic stops. <laughs> Hello? Yo, yield. We're doing traffic stops, asshole. <laughs> Bye. Channel. We're on nine for Torgo's ones. Uh, okay, now yeah, that probably help. <laughs> Bye.
Turn your engine off. Thank you. Dispatch 100, 1038, uh, northbound Fort St. Kudo in a giant truck with the American flag on it. Evening, sir. I am Cadet Turgle, badge number uh, 100, I guess. Can I have your license and registration, please? See, yeah, look, nice I'm at that point license, where I'm, gonna need you to hand it to I, me I'm not really time. supporting anyone in the Stanley Cup. <laughs> I'm not really supporting anyone. I guess, I guess at this point, I'd like to see the stars win. That's terrible. You know, my day is gonna be pretty good after this. I'm think I'm gonna go play some Stardew. Yeah, Stardew and your mom. I'll be right back. Talk to my partner. Reused. Reused. Dapped. Dap this. Okay. Don't actually. Oh. I got it. Running his ID. Yeah, at this point, I'd like to see the Stars win. That's it. Uh, I don't like the Bruins. Uh, kind of like the Oilers. Fuck the Canucks. Panthers? No. I want the Stars to win. If I could get a Stars-Canucks final... Well, there's that joke where the only Stanley Cup the Canucks have, you know, are the actual Stanley Cups. But like I've said multiple times, I want the Canucks to get to the final and lose. Just because I think that would be fucking hilarious. Okay. Uh, 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 hello, sir. I'm back. Well, you were going a bit over the speed limit. However, since... Uh, I'm losing my steam. Yeah. 30 over. Well, uh, I... mm -hmm. well 75 is the speed limit. You were going 30 over, so you do the math. Not because I can't do it. However, however, since all you've ever done is litter, cringe by the way, I'll be letting you off with a warning. Is that all right with you? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. here's mm -hmm. your license mm -hmm. back. And uh, you are free to leave when I turn my lights off. Have a good day. Thank you. Uh, this time we're going to see if she can catch you actually speeding, okay? What the hell? Hell. Go okay. after him, he hit your car. What the? Holy. F A dispatch 100 1080 northbound Fort St. Kudo, same truck with the American flag over. Howdy. 
Hey. We're waiting for Frank to come back from a head pop. Ah, wait, 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 no worries. And then, you know, walk back to their car and turn the lights off. This way they know when they're able to leave. There's no awkwardness, anything like that. Okay, that makes sense. Cool. Well, yeah. Right, absolutely. Gail, do you know how to turn your lights on and, and sirens? Um, yeah. yes. Yeah, let's give that another shot here. It's, uh... <laughs> uh, two examples. How's the other group doing? Oh, good. Purgle's just having a bit of a mechanical problem. Oh, same as, same as she. All right, let's 60 see. 60 percent there, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Disgusting. How's the pursuit going? We pulled over. We pulled over. I got him at 97. Yep, I got 98. Okay, nice. Okay, sirens off, and go through your thing again. Yeah, this would. Sir, please turn your engine off. Oh, Dispatch oh. 100 1038. Uh, this is eastbound Fort Zincudo, same truck with the American flag. Over. Okay. Oh, Let's go. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that, okay. there was a ghost in there, I guess. No one's in there. You're such a fucking idiot. <laughs> I was in the back seat. You <laughs> saw the back here fucking head. You know who does that all the time? Cap Nova. Everybody does it, dude. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah, I think I see someone in this car. What? Yep. Wait just oh, a minute. Yeah, look at that. Oh Off. Come, come back, come back. Oh, sorry. Gotta say it again. Yeah. Uh, this is dispatch 100 1038 eastbound Fort St. Kudo in a uh, truck with the American flag on it. Turtle's got a lot to learn. But it's cooler if I do. Good evening. Uh. Hey there, Mr. Ghost. Hey, Cadet Turgle with the LSPD. D um, badge number one hundo. Can I have your license and registration? It's, uh, it's uh, what I find sometimes like, is like, I don't think people realize when they apply to the PD how much shit they actually have to learn. You know? the digital ones, unfortunately. I'm gonna ask you to step out the car now, sir. So take it anyway. We'll, we'll take a little bit of something. All and right. step on the side over here. I'm starving. Okay, can you uh, put your gun Let's over go. <laughs> 
Hey, Chief. Off to the side, please. It's good. I yeah. have to go back to MRP and think about something to eat, or I am. All right, you little bugger. Gonna pat. What? That's okay. Well, Bones is here now, so swap me now. All right, okay. So, Oh, I'm gonna cook some fucking dinner. I'm gonna cook the shit out of some fucking dinner. I'm gonna go cook dinner. I'm not having pizza. I had a cheat day yesterday, chat, and I'm trying to be smart. You all right? Let me bite the back seat of your cop car and I'll be fine. No. Please. Please. No. Please. That's the only thing that makes me feel less anxious, please. Get the premium leather. No, no aren't you the one that licks the fucking leather. windows? Uh, yes. No, no. no. On, uh, Palomino Avenue and uh, North, or South Park for Drive. I got one injured individual over here. And sorry now. Oh my god. Oh, that thing's dead. Not sorry. I'm not sorry. Hostage being held at gunpoint. Hostage being held at gunpoint. Southbound Clay. 78, 78, 78. 76. Copy. Clay? Clay, Clay. They're probably trying to uncuff. Uncuffing, uncuffing. What's the move here? We're gonna be by Clay, right adjacent to oh, yeah, adjacent to Lindsay Circus. I'm saying, yeah, I'm staying uh, away from him. We got a purple and color vehicle. Yeah, that's gonna situation. be the individuals from the last situation. As soon as officers are out of harm's way, we are lighting up that fucking car. I'm putting that out there right now. Five A is on the north end. I'm gonna have uh, one, two, three, four, five individuals. A one female with white hair is holding the gun at the officer. Others are getting inside the vehicle. Please tell me somebody's north end, Calais. Yeah, 158, 158. He's not safe. Don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. He's, uh -huh, don't uh -huh, shoot. He's not safe yet. 158 is a You guys know when to open fire on it. Okay. How many individuals is that? 160. I'll... Okay. It seems like they're uh, getting in here. Stand by. Yeah, they swapped guns. They swapped hands, rather. Okay, let me, let me see what's going on here. Ready to stand stand by. Quick, 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 quick. They're saying if you guys follow the car, they're gonna shoot me. Okay. Well, then just have officers over on Vespucci. Decker, I'll say you're in cover, Maple. Make sure he's safe. That's fine. That purple Hobby, car do you want me to just set up? Yeah. Are we shooting? Are we shooting? What's, what's the vehicle? No, 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 no. no. We, we still have an officer held up. Do not shoot. He takes priority here. Keep an eye on it, make sure it's not coming back. Myself and Penzo will focus on the guy with the gun with the officer. Everybody else needs to focus on that vehicle, make sure it doesn't come back. 158, it was last seen going on uh, San Andreas, went past uh, Senior Buns, westbound. On it now, I didn't, I didn't want to chase. Yeah, we're not chasing it. Someone's uh, talking with the guy right now. The suspect on the vehicle description. It's gonna be a purple and color jugular. Mm. 
still have one suspect on scene. The rest of them is last seen uh, westbound on They're gonna ambush. San Andreas. Vice in your buns. That was where the purple jugular is. We still have a suspect on scene holding up an officer. Hey, officers behind them on the south. You need to watch the left. You got somebody in all black next to you guys. Hey, Prim, it's gonna be a G6 work. I'll, I'll try to I'll try to move the vehicle. They're gonna get ambushed. Is he wearing white? Is the guy wearing white? The yes, primary suspect, the Prim. Local hit him. Listen, I need you guys not in the open, right? Stand by. Yes, one five eight. Take alleyways. Don't don't be out in open street. Okay, this is what's probably gonna happen, Maple. I need you to just keep talking to him. Okay, he's saying I just want to get out of here without getting shot and end this peacefully. Listen, I'm not stupid. They're probably gonna set up to shoot you guys while he tries to get out of here and he's gonna try to shoot me. So listen, you guys okay. need to get in way better positions than where you guys are right now. I'm on the top of white garage. If you guys are out in the open, you are fucking up right now. Big five, time. I'm gonna get on Make top sure of you guys have cover. Yeah, cause probably that car looped around to the and is setting up an angle on that construction site. He's getting on construction. Okay, he's, he's, he's just constantly right keeps saying, I wanna get out of here, I don't wanna get hurt. So he's probably going to hurt people based on my assumption. Hey, I hear I hear a lot of noise in White Garage. He might be coming up here. I'm gonna shoot him. If he does. He pulls a gun. I'm on south. Ooh. Sorry about that. Clear the area, please. Sorry about that. Please stay safe. Okay, one suspect on the scene right now. There was five total. There's only one with us right now. Four, five suspects. Colonel, what I'm under you, brother. Okay, anyone else white garage? No, I'm coming up just to clear it under you so you're safe, okay? Alright, 10 4. I base Calais instruction, or construction. I'm on south construction still, I'm getting up top. I already told him, I said, listen, if you put that gun away and surrender, I won't shoot. on you from up here, end zone. Can I on rooftops as well? Alright, he's saying he's gonna surrender, but he wants maples to twerk. Eh? I think I just saw that purple juggler. I think I'm already seeing that purple juggler going northbound, upper la puerta. Keep an eye out on the hallway, uh, highway. I think he put his gun on the ground. Maple, have your gun out. Maple, have your gun out. You're good. Maple just punched the guy? Yeah, hold on. Maple! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. On the cops. 195, watch out for that jugular, please. Did you call that? Did you have the juggler, McNulty? No, he said he spotted it. He, he thought he spotted it. I've seen more found before the freeway. The 107, I have the play of the jugular. Okay, uh, Liam's also getting a phone call. His gun's in the ground maple. I'm just keeping an eye out. Alright, snag the gun, get him out of the open, flag that plate, and then... Uh, he was on the phone with whoever was in that car because they were giving him directions on when they got away and nobody was following him. So we need to subpoena his phone records if we want to know who that was. He also just got a call. He Do we have descriptions of other suspects involved? Was it green mask? There was or wearing green monkey mask. I'll go 42 there was, there was, once. There was two uh... people cuffed. They had they had me uncuffed two people. For if if it was green monkey mask, then this is related to the cash exchange robbery. Hey, for uh, those were the two people that were cuffed involved. earlier. Monkey mask was involved. Well, then be advised, this is also also in relation to three officers shot on El Rancho Boulevard. 197, I have 195, I'm 76 MRPD. Copy. 
Right, before we, we go breaking this down. First. Yeah, A firm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Escort. Just make sure you got other officers watching you if you're going down from rooftops, whatever. Who had the Remember? plate of the juggler? Can you? Do you oh, want seven. I'm gonna get a flight. I'm, I'll, I'll throw. But it's a purple. Whoever juggler. has the gun, um, yeah. that got swapped between the female who originally had it to the guy that we have now, so it's likely, or it's a possibility, to have two sets of fingerprints on it. Copy. It's that 160. Did who who shot in that situation? But it was A15. It was A15. Oh, okay. Is that a desk pop or did you just miss here? Uh, to be honest, I misheard. I did not know anybody was staying back and I saw the vehicle okay, start moving. I'm that. so sorry. Okay. For uh, 158, we were free to break down. We were 10 8. Yeah, yeah, we're good to break down and go 10 8. Ben, look out for a bl uh, purple uh, or a Purple and black jugular, it's gonna be flagged here in a minute, I'm sure. Or also be advised, one on seven. Suspect that we have, Liam Law, uh, he had blood on scene from the El Rancho shooting with three officers involved. Uh, just be advised that I believe he was already in crop style uh, when that happened. Yeah, there's, uh, he's already gonna have three charges from the prior incident for whoever is the AO. I can cover that. 100, Corn, what's your status? Uh, all right, Ted. I'm Motion King, I'm just sitting on the roof till everyone's ready. Uh, I we're think done. we're already leaving. We broke off. All right, one, two, three. Academy should be wrapping up here. Uh, I just heard of the 78's call. Let it back you up. Happy, thank you. What all, what all modules are they doing today? Uh, pretty much everything minus pursuits will be done tomorrow. Um, and a few other things, but we did a lot today. So much so my brain's fucking fried. And you're Mick Nolte. Oh, your brother. One day you're not around in, you know, Little Ireland. It seems chaos. Yeah. I'm gonna talk about it. Great. Okay. Alright, one, two, three. I'm going 1042. Um, I know these academy days are annoying because a lot of people are tied up, but I appreciate the work that those get done. Oh. How are you, darling? I'm good. How are you? I'm cooked. My brain's fried. You know how Academy Friday thinks. Yeah. Right. You going T home? Yeah, and today I actually went to the the Zoom call and I'm fucking Oh, yikes. I'm I'm cooked. Yeah, I'll see you at home though. Okay? I'll be in route to that latest okay. 911. Sounds good. Um some Yeah. I feel, I feel like we need a, a proper evening off to get something done. Do some proper fucking fishing again. I would love that. And I love you, and I'll see you at home, okay? I get one uh, more 77 to that okay. uh, response, please. Bye-bye. I'm tired. I am tired. Chat, chat. Um... Chat, that is going to be me. I'm going to go cook dinner, relax, shoot the shit. I I'm, too t I'm too fried to... Uh... Keep that shit up. Chat, I'll be live again tomorrow with uh, more, more Academy. <laughs> Appreciate you, chat. Kisses left. One on the right. One on the cheek. One on the lips. Oop, stole it. Good night, chat.